From the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex, the FPHL proudly presents the Port Huron Prowlers and the Carolina Thunderbirds. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Dylan Clark. The Thunderbirds coming off a big bounce-back win. They got the split three points last night in a 6-5 thrilling win over the Port Huron Prowlers after uh, coming up pretty far short. 6-1 loss to Port Huron on Thursday night. The Thunderbirds looking to bounce back in a big way and continue that momentum forward tonight. Some new faces and uh, some depth scoring helping out the Thunderbirds. George Holt playing in his home state of Michigan last night, chipping in with two goals on the season. Holt again coming up and uh, and playing the wing uh, as the Thunderbirds are a bit short on forward. Had to make some adjustments uh, to the lines uh, at forward for last night. Uh, Gus Ford chipping in in a big way. Three goals and an assist for four points on the night. And Tommy Cardinal breaking through with his first goal of the season, helping the Thunderbirds along to that 6-5 win. Uh, in a moment, we're going to hear from Tommy Cardinal right now. A quick break, and on the other side of it, Tommy Cardinal talks about his first goal of the season and an eventful night in Port Huron. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. We welcome you back to Winston-Salem for Thunderbirds pregame as Carolina gets set to take on Port Huron in the third of a three games in three days series. Uh, Thunderbirds forward Tommy Cardinal skated in his 27th career game for the Thunderbirds last night. In his ninth game of the season, Cardinal was still looking for his first points on the year. He responded by putting up three in last night's contest, including his first goal of the season. We caught up with uh, Tommy Cardinal before the start of tonight's game to talk to him about an eventful night in Port Huron. We welcome you back inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Annex Dylan Clark alongside Thunderbirds forward Tommy Cardinal. Tommy, uh, it's been a season that you've been building on as time has gone along. You finally get rewarded last night with your first goal of the year. Uh, how does it feel to kind of get that load off your shoulders? Uh, I thought I had a couple of chances uh, since the beginning of the season. I had my chances, and I was waiting for it to happen. And it happened yesterday. I got a greasy one. So that's off my shoulder. Well, while you were building towards that you know it, it felt like you were kind of doing all of the right things leading up to it your physical game uh, is probably one of the things that stands out the most about you do you think playing that physical style is that kind of what contributed and, and finally led to you breaking through on the score sheet 
Yeah, well, that, that's how I play. So, I mean, if, if I can't do that correctly, I know good things are, good things are going to come. So, yeah, I can't, mentally I kept doing what was right. And uh, like, like you said, I, I got rewarded yesterday. Uh, last night, uh, 6-3 at one point going into the third period, and then Port Huron kind of closes the gap, makes it 6-5, a really tight game. What was the feeling there on the bench as, uh, as the problems kind of got closer and closer at the end? Yeah, well, uh, we, had a, we had a good lead going in the third. Uh, the game was mostly getting played peak in PK and power play, so lots of goals were, were scored. And, uh, yeah, they closed the gap a little bit in the, in the third, but we hold up and we, we got the win. Third game in three nights against Port Huron. Uh, last game of this little mini-series. What kind of things do you expect out of your opponent tonight? Uh, they're going to come at us, but, you know, like, they're not they're not welcome here and uh we're gonna make them feel that way and to, like at a drop a puck drop and they're gonna know it tommy thanks so much for the time good luck tonight you're welcome that's Thank all you. for us right now uh, we'll take another quick break and we'll be back on the other side of it with more thunderbirds pregame the carolina thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team so we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreation. We welcome you back inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Annex ahead of Prowlers Thunderbirds. Right now it's time to take a look at the opponent scouting the Port Huron Prowlers, having the same record as the Thunderbirds coming into this game, 5-6-1-1. One, one. These two teams have really been mirror images of each other over the last little bit here in the early goings of this season. The Prowlers playing a different style. They're not as big of a hockey team, uh, scoring goals in uh, the, the grittier ways, trying to create chaos and chances in front. Uh, Matt Graham player, head coach, and uh, kind of jack of all trades for the Prowlers has come as advertised a goal and three assists for four points in the last two games against the Carolina Thunderbirds. Uh, he was ejected from last night's contest for a hit from behind on Viktor Grabenikov deep in Thunderbirds territory. It was one of those calls where uh, it was kind of um, in contention right there, not really sure if Graham would get the gate or not. That would have been uh, the second ejection of the game. Cody Oaks had been uh, thrown out earlier on for a, a cross check up high on one of the Prowler defensemen, but Matt Graham playing with that physical edge, uh, playing a little too far over the edge last night. He will be starting to dial it back and uh, make an impact on the score sheet, make an impact physically, make an impact on the penalty sheet as well. Uh, Matt Graham coming just as advertised. Larry Vartiainen, another player that is uh, certainly to, to catch the eye of the Thunderbirds in this one. Uh, playing in uh, just a, a few games this season 
three goals and two assists for five points against the Thunderbirds in the last two games, including two power play goals last night in the third period. If you'll remember, we talked about it with Tommy Cardin a little bit. Carolina taking a 6-3 lead into the third period, firmly in the driver's seat. Uh, a flip of the script uh, from the, the previous night's contest. Again, a 6-1 loss. The Thunderbirds had the momentum early on, couldn't put Port Huron away. On Friday night, had the momentum early on, couldn't put Port Huron away. 6-3, they come back. Two power play goals from Larry Vartiainen, making things very close indeed and almost setting up Dalton J for what would have been the game tying goal. But Vartiainen, uh, 29 points through 49 FPHL games. The lone Finn on the Port Huron roster for tonight. Dangerous on the power play. Left-handed shot. A one-timer unlike anyone else on the Port Huron roster. Gets a ton of whip on that stick, ton of flex. And the interesting note about Vartiainen, and his particular spot on the power play. It's nothing new. It's basically the inverse of, they call it Ovechkin's office. Ovechkin, a right-handed shot from the left-wing face-off circle. Vartainen, left-handed shot from the right-wing face-off circle. The difference is both of his power play goals last night, both one-timers, both with tons of variety, uh, velocity, I should say, but the difference is the velocity and the location on the ice. Vartainen taking his one-timers down low from underneath the face-off dots, more between the dot and the bottom of the circle. And at that point, when you're looking at the net, it's a six by four. You got six feet across. But when you're looking at it from that angle, it really shrinks to about a foot, a foot and a half. That's all the room he had to sneak that puck past Thunderbirds goaltender Evan Morris. And the rookie did get his first FPHL win last night. But that speaks volumes about the accuracy of Vartayin in shot. He will be sure to be a power play weapon uh, that the Prowlers will unleash time and time again. And speaking of power play weapons, the power play is a weapon in and of itself. It seems to go without saying, but the Prowlers threw 17 power play chances over the last two games, seven power play goals. They find themselves up at first place in the FPHL, clicking it right around 23% on the power play. They have skyrocketed up that aspect of the FPHL's uh, statistical leaderboard, if you will. Uh, first place in the league in power play scoring. Um, again, 7 for 17. That is outstanding. That is phenomenal, way far above uh, anything a power play could usually be working at. So for the Thunderbirds, staying out of the box more so now than ever against the number one power play in the league. Austin Federley been quarterbacking that power play for the Prowlers, uh, running things in uh, outstanding puck distribution, using his quick skating and fleet feet uh, to his advantage, moving things around that way. So for the Thunderbirds, that's got to be problem number one that they deal with staying out of the box, and when they do, trying to find a way to shut down that Port Huron power play. Another quick break, and on the other side of this one, we'll take a look at the Thunderbirds. Some new faces in the lineup, some old faces return, and how they look to take down the Prowlers and get the split here on the third game against the Prowlers in just as many nights. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. 
Call 336-748-3949 today. Welcome back to Winston-Salem ahead of Port Huron taking on the Carolina Thunderbirds. Again, those two teams split the last two games. Identical records coming into this weekend and after last night and the night before. Identical records right now, 5-6-1-1. One, and one. The Prowlers sit just above the Thunderbirds at fifth place in the FPHL Carolina. Uh, standing out right now at six. The Delaware Thunder right now in seventh place, still looking for their first win on this season. But for the Thunderbirds, things started to go right last night. And what we mean by that is they played similarly on Thursday night. It's just the chances weren't materializing, doing lots of right things early on, scoring the game's first goal. John Batita, fourth tally in five games uh, on Thursday night. Opened the scoring, and the Thunderbirds seemed to be pretty firmly in the driver's seat. But after that, they just kept letting the Prowlers hang around and hang around, and the chances started to materialize for Port Huron as they started to fade away for the Thunderbirds, and the scales tipped back in the opposite direction. But Friday night, a, a change of the script there. The Thunderbirds do start capitalizing on their opportunities. Had just about the same number of chances. Gus Ford really picking up on things. A natural hat trick in the second period. Three goals and an assist for Ford. Uh, uh, beg your pardon there, uh, two power play goals on the night for Gus Ford, really uh, just utilizing the most of the opportunities there. The Thunderbirds had been unsuccessful on four power play opportunities on Thursday night. Gus Ford and company getting back to work there, putting the Thunderbirds firmly in the driver's seat. But again, not a complete 60 minutes. It's something we really have yet to see from Carolina this season. And when we say a complete 60 minutes, really shut down hockey, smart, uh, keeping things... Uh, in control the whole way. Port Huron found ways to battle back. The Thunderbirds could not stay out of the penalty box last night. The Prowlers went four for 11 on the power play, including a pair of major penalties to Cody Oaks and Tommy Cardinal. Two situations in which the Thunderbirds really could have found themselves behind the eight ball, and it could have been a very different hockey game, but uh, the goaltending of the rookie Evan Morrison held the Thunderbirds in it, and just some gutsy shot blocks from John Batita, George Holt, and company kept the Thunderbirds in front. They would limp their way and scamper off the ice with a 6-5 win. So for tonight, uh, the idea is do the same things as the Thunderbirds had done early on in the last two nights, but put the Prowlers away. Don't allow them back into the game. Don't allow those penalties. Don't allow those high danger chances. Keep focus. Maintain that same level uh, of initiative and proactivity uh, throughout the earlier and then the later stages of the game. And then you don't have to worry about the Prowlers trying to claw their way back in from behind, scoring power play goals later in the third period and really putting in jeopardy a, a three-goal lead that uh, the team had worked uh, pretty hard to put together. Daniel Martin and Jacob Schnapp, two notable faces back in the lineup for the Thunderbirds. Jacob Schnapp, three goals and an assist for four points through just three games in a Thunderbirds uniform. He returns tonight. Daniel Martin, four goals and three assists for seven points tonight. A bit streakier. He scores goals in bunches, or at least that's the way things have gone uh, throughout the early stages of this season. Martin, a hat trick back a couple of weeks ago against Watertown. He returns to the lineup tonight, most likely playing center. We'll see just how the lines shake out with, again, players coming in and out of the lineup tonight. Evan Morrison, the goaltender, last night did not make the trip back down from uh, his native uh, Port Huron area. So tonight, uh, Alexander Crone will serve as the emergency backup goaltender for the Thunderbirds. That means Chris Paulin gets the start, looking for a bounce-back performance of his own after getting shelled 6-1 loss on Thursday night. Paulin has been outstanding in bounce-back games so far this season. Another break, and when we come back, we'll take a look at some more of the, uh, the transactions. We've gotten into them a little bit for you here, but some of the injury updates and roster notes going forward uh, in this early Thunderbirds season. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com.
A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Family owned and operated since 1938. Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of meat from our on-site butcher. Enjoy a glass bottle of soda like the old days and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kearns. We welcome you back to the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. A few moments away from puck drop here between Carolina and Port Huron, and it's going to be a few more moments than we anticipated here, just announced over the loudspeaker. About a 10-minute delay to tonight's start time, so 6.05 becomes 6.15 due to the weather here. It's been uh, pouring pretty heavily here over the last little bit. Certainly uh, most of you in the area have been aware of that, and so just giving everybody a little bit more time to get into the arena, get uh, a little bit dried off and situated here. There's also Wake Forest basketball going on uh, right across the parking lot here, so lots of things going on trying to get situated here, and settling in so we can get to the hockey but while we wait for that let's get into some of the injuries and transactions we already talked about Jacob Schnapp back in the lineup for the Thunderbirds four points in four games um, Daniel Martin back into the lineup for the Thunderbirds seven points so the Thunderbirds increasing uh, kind of that top six scoring there we expect those two to be on one of the top two lines perhaps they find themselves together on the same line tonight that could change obviously throughout the night head coach Garrett Lutton Garrett Rutledge likes to keep players together in pairs and maybe rotate a winger through or the other center, uh, depending on how the situations come up. Uh, the loans remain the same. Chris Hunt loaned to the Macon Mayhem of the SPHL just before Carolina uh, embarked on their trip on Thursday. Uh, I guess it was Wednesday afternoon Carolina left to head up to Port Huron. Um, Charlie Pelnick remains in Roanoke with the Rail Yard Dogs. Pelnick had appeared in a handful of games here for the Thunderbirds. Solid shutdown defenseman. Uh, no surprise that uh, his services were called upon up in the SPHL. Brian Moore still on loan to the Fayetteville Marksman, but coming back from the Fayetteville Marksman, Marksman and making another appearance in tonight's game. First one in some time. Everett Thompson re-enters the lineup for the Thunderbirds. Four assists through four games played this season for Carolina. He looks to make an immediate impact and really uh, shaking up the lines here. Different roster, vastly different roster than the Thunderbirds skated back up uh, in Port Huron over the last two nights. Jackson Tucker stays in the lineup. He's just coming back on his first weekend uh, back from loan. He was also with the Rail Yard Dogs of Roanoke. Thunderbirds captain Joe Cangelosi remains unavailable right now due to personal reasons. Cameron Dimmitt and Nick Modica remain out of the lineup with lower body injuries. And as we said, Alexander Crone, uh, the emergency backup goaltender for Carolina tonight. Evan Morrison looks to rejoin the team uh, at a later date, perhaps the next time they find themselves back up in Port Huron, which will be a Boxing Day matchup, December the 26th. Thunderbirds find themselves right back up north there in the, uh, in the thumb of that Michigan glove to take on the Prowlers. Uh, that just about does it for our injuries and transactions. We're going to send you uh, on Thunderbirds TV to our newest episode of Kid Sticks. I believe we're working on stick handling tonight. And those of you listening, listening on the Thunderbirds radio network, we'll be back after this commercial break. Hey Thunderbirds fans, welcome to another episode of Kid Sticks. Today, we're gonna to be talking about stick handling and puck control, but first, a word from our sponsor. Finish strong. Start here. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. So, for all the kids that are out there being able to watch this, and even the adults that are starting to learn how to play the game of hockey, one of the most important things that we work on is puck control. With that comes stick handling, hands, stick choice, and how we make sure it's appropriate for us. So first thing, our stick height. We always want our stick height when we're on skates to be between our chin and our nose. 
and then based on the lie of the stick, which is the degree angle of the blade, we're gonna determine if that stick is the correct stick for us as we stick handle and shoot. So, as we stick handle, one of the things that we wanna focus on is making sure that we are cupping the puck with our hands out in front of our body. So we wanna make sure we have a cupped control every time that we move the puck back and forth. We want it to be nice and quiet. We want it to be nice and controlled. We don't want it to sound like this. That means our hands aren't soft and we're not being focused on control and cradle support. So as I stick handle back and forth, I'm making sure it's quiet, it's nice and calm, and I'm controlling the puck and each side of the blade. Now, as we work through that control, we wanna make sure that our hands stay out in front, we wanna make sure that the puck is nice in front, and we wanna make sure that we keep our head up the entire time that we're stick handling. So as we stick handle, we wanna make sure that our head is nice and focused, and we want that head to be up as we do it. And we wanna be able to feel that puck on the blade as we go. So as we move up, you're gonna see an obstacle where we might have to work our way around it as we're stick handling through. And it's all about controlling and cradling the puck as we go. Now, one of the things that you'll see a lot with young players is that they wanna over stick handle. They wanna do too much. So what we wanna work on is making sure that every time we're moving, we're not stick handling too much. We can push the puck and cradle it as we go and we really don't have to stick handle that much. And that's a good dynamic of puck control and making sure that we're cupping the blade. One of the things that I like to see young players do a lot is a figure eight. And what it'll do is it'll allow us to work on both sides of the blade and it allows us to work on control with our hands out in front of our body. Hands are out nice and tight. And that way we can work on both sides of the stick and we can make our stick handling as efficient as possible. I'd like to say thank you to our sponsor, Atrium Health, and hope to see you at a game this weekend. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to tempt rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. <laughs> Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices. 
big selection and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Welcome back to Winston-Salem. Pre-game continues here before Port Huron and Carolina hit the ice for their third game against each other in the last three nights. Again, two up in Port Huron on Thursday and Friday night. And tonight back here, a Saturday night in Winston-Salem. It is a big night for more than one reason. Not only is it ugly sweater night here from the Fairgrounds Annex, but Teddy Bear Toss at the first Thunderbirds goal. Uh, the skies will open up with teddy bears and the ice will be filled uh, with the, uh, the lovable creatures and uh, they will be collected and given to the Winston-Salem Police and Fire Departments uh, to be given to children in need. And again, as we've been mentioning uh, throughout the last handful of broadcasts here, Forgotten Sons Motorcycle Club has been hosting their uh, Toys for Tots toy drive. Those boxes are around the arena. Uh, this is the last night for the collection of those toys because this is the last night the Thunderbirds will be in this building uh, until after Christmas. Uh, they'll be going on the road to Biloxi and then Columbus and then the Christmas break and Carolina won't be back here in Winston-Salem for a hockey game uh, until New Year's Eve against the Danbury Hattricks. But uh, turning our attention back to tonight's game, uh, aside from the teddy bears and ugly sweaters that will surely be filling this building and continue uh, to be in the process of filling this building right now, the keys to tonight's game, we've already touched on them a little bit, uh, no penalties. Uh, that one is pretty much cut and dry. There's a difference between, well, try to stay out of the box and uh, no penalties at all uh, because the Thunderbird, penalty kill has slipped all the way back down uh, to the bottom of the FPHL after a, just an abysmal two nights in Port Huron. Again, just one uh, anomaly again. Two nights is really all it takes to kind of wreck your power play or penalty kill numbers, but the Prowlers power play has solved the Thunderbirds penalty kill at least over the last two nights, so staying out of the box more important than it ever has been for the Thunderbirds in tonight's game. Uh, Chris Paulin will need to dig deep tonight. Had a strong start to Thursday night's game, but uh, again, the game just kind of got away from the Thunderbirds and Paulin as well. A 6-1 final score there. Paulin looks to help Carolina right the ship here and put together a pair of wins to send them uh, with some momentum down to Biloxi, Mississippi for a neutral site game on December the 17th. Uh, the third key to tonight's game, bit of a double-edged one. Play a full 60 minutes, and the new guys will need to show back up in force. Jacob Schnapp, Daniel Martin back into the lineup. We mentioned earlier on Dawson Baker. Uh, the Thunderbirds recently signed him, a product of the OHL. 194 games in the Ontario Hockey League, split between the Kingston Frontenacs and the Sudbury Wolves. 12 games with the Pensacola Ice Flyers of the SPHL. We talked about it at the beginning of the season uh, when Garrett Rutledge joined the Thunderbirds, that OHL pipeline. That was the unique aspect uh, of signing uh, Rutledge as the Thunderbirds head coach. He's got all those contacts in the OHL, so those players starting to come. And you saw Evan Morrison last night, Thunderbirds starting goal tenor got his uh, first FPHL win. Dawson Baker joins Carolina tonight looking to make an immediate impact. Speedy, skilled player, looking to put the puck in the back of the net early and often for the Thunderbirds. Um, so those new players will be counted upon. And again, playing a full 60 minutes, uh, playing a complete game is probably the only way the Thunderbirds are going to be able to walk out of here with three points tonight. We're going to take you to one last break again. We're still waiting for uh, a little bit of a delay here. The rain delaying things and allowing the fans a bit of an extra time to get into the arena, get situated here. So another break, and we'll take an assessment of the situation, and we'll plan accordingly from there. We'll be back in a moment with more Thunderbirds hockey. Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game 
in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the Modern difference, family owned since 1933. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the Modern difference, family owned since 1933. Family owned and operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of meat from our on-site butcher, enjoy a glass bottle of soda like the old days and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kernersville.
For the third time in as many days, the Carolina Thunderbirds take on the Port Huron Prowlers, though this time they get to do it in front of thousands of their own fans instead of the evil ire of those back in Port Huron, the, uh, uh, the disliking looks there and the words being shouted down upon them from uh, that convenient spot that overlooks the bench back there at McMorrin Arena. Carolina and Port Huron just about ready to go. So glad you could be with us, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dylan Clark, and we are just about ready to get set and get underway here from the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Time now for our Pine Hall Brick starting goaltenders of the game. Chris Paulin gets the start between the pipes for Carolina, getting back in action, looking to bounce back after a bit of a difficult night on Thursday night. Before that, 37 saves on 40 shots in an overtime loss to the Danbury Hat Tricks two weekends ago. Before that, he came in and made all 17 saves in relief of the injured Nick Modica the night before that. Carolina would come away with the win in that first game. This is Carolina's first action back at home since those two games. And down to our left, Corey Simons, six foot two, 185 pounds out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, gets back-to-back -back starts here for the Port Huron Prowlers. University of Wisconsin at Eau Claire product. Former member of the Berlin River Drivers back in 2016 with former Thunderbirds head coach Andre Nitsch. We're down and we are underway here from Winston-Salem between Carolina and the Port Huron Prowlers. Thunderbirds cleared this one back out to center, moving right to left. In their home reds, Port Huron in the traveling whites. For those of you listening at home on the radio, Chris Paulin dropping this one back off for Ramil Talapov. Had a handful of assists over the last two nights in Port Huron. Down the left side, Dawson Baker moving this one back on for Tommy Cardinal. Cardinal wants to center that feed for Baker. Again, the newest Thunderbird signed earlier this afternoon. 194 OHL games between Sudbury and Kingston. As back out the other way, Port Huron able to just flip this one back in on Chris Paul. And 40 seconds gone, Talapov advances back up for Daniel Martin, rejoining the Thunderbirds after a brief hiatus here. Dumping this one back in. It is the captain, Dustin Henning, on this one. Back out the other side for Port Huron. On the ice now, Gus Ford. A sharp angle shot right on. Easy glove save for Corey Simons. Gus Ford coming off an impressive 24 hours here. Three goals and an assist in last night's 6-5 win over the Prowlers at McMoran Arena. Eight points through seven games played on the season for Ford. Five goals and three assists on the year. Back out through center, Devin Warfield throws that one onto the tape now of John Batita. He breaks down the left wing here of the Port Huron zone. Center, a backdoor feed there, almost had Gus Ford. Just about a minute gone here on Teddy Bear Toss Night. Thunderbirds first goal. We'll bring a cascade of Teddy Bears from the stands. Von Clausen, left point, that one sent just wide. Pass the stick of Devin Warfield. Yuri Peshtuka on this one around the near side. John Batita on it. Now up Von Clausen, another shot deflected on its way off the stick of Stavros Soilis. Collected in the corner again by Batita. Minute and a half gone. First period brought to you by First Bank. Von Clausen has some trouble with that one. Lost an edge and he'll just have to fire this one back around. Thunderbirds in the midst of a line change. Got to be careful here. Nobody wanted to touch that puck. Both teams changing lines. Now Von Clausen a stretch pass there. Blake Peavy is off sides as Everett Thompson touches that puck up. And a stray Port Huron glove will need to be collected and thrown back onto the bench. Everett Thompson skating on the right side with Blake Peavy at center and Jacob Schnapp back in the lineup now. Schnapp playing on the, uh, well now on the right side as Thompson has moved to the left wing. This one sent all the way back around. Prowlers working this one out of their own end. Federley works the breakout pass to Zach Frazura. Now taken on now by Dalton Jay. Jay shut down there by Blake Peavy. Two minutes gone, first bank, first period. A shot per side, no goals yet. Peavy spun out here, dropping this one back. Cody Oaks back in the lineup again tonight after being ejected late in the first period last night. As Grabenikov bringing this one on now for the Thunderbirds. Near side up off the glass. Prowlers moving this one back out. Dalton Jay can't handle it there. Ramil Talapov collects and throws this one in the far side corner, giving, uh, giving chases Blake Peavy. Peavy comes together out of that corner with Alex Johnson. Collected by Schnapp. Up top, George Holt. A shot there. Redirected up and out of play by Corey Simons. Or a stoppage here, 17-24 to go in this opening frame. George Holt, a pair of goals last night, playing back in his home state of Michigan, playing in front of friends and family. Not a bad time to score a pair of goals. As this one is dropped, Alex Johnson 
Picking things up for the Prowlers. He gets rubbed out in behind the goal by guess who? Tommy Cardinal. Prowlers taking this one out now. It's Federley. Federley down the left wing. Deep into Thunderbird Real Estate. Centering a feed there. Paulin makes the save. He denies Brennan Young on the doorstep. Thunderbirds get to this one here. Out to the far side. Cardinal throws a hit. Loose puck at center. Thrown back in behind Paulin's goal. Three minutes gone here in this first bank. First period. Still scoreless from Winston-Salem. Out to the far wing. Cardinal tries this outlet pass. Skating after it now. Dawson Baker. That one shut down and pinballs around to the Prowlers collect now. Moving this one D to D. Quentin Roseboom on it now. Back out through center. Prowlers on the chip in charge. Maria Talipov collects now for Carolina. John Batita fresh from the bench. Thunderbirds leading scorer. Taking this one now down the left side. 16 and a half left in the opening frame. Batita. Around, sending this one back up top. Pestuka near side, Clouston letting that one go through. Traffic tipped just wide there. Looks like Dawson Baker may have gotten a touch on it. Pestuka sent wide up off the boards. Baker can't get to it there. Right-handed shot. This one guided all the way back out down the near side wing. Roseboom and Clouston now pounding this one. Baker gets to it and chips it off the boards in front of the Prowler bench. Collected by Port Huron near side. Isaiah Crawford gets spun out there by Von Clouston. Those two had some spirited battles last night. As they look to go right back to work here in this one. Flipped out to center by John Batita for checking his Devin Warfield. But the Prowlers have time and space to regroup. Near side, Prowlers shut down on their attempted zone exit. Chipped all the way back in and Gus Ford now for checking with John Batita behind the Prowlers goal. Brought up down the near side. Looks to be Alex Johnson. Thrown up and out down to his knees is Viktor Grabenikov. Playing shortstop here to try to keep that puck in front of him. Sent all the way back down, away from John Batita. Prowlers back out up off the glass. 15 and a half to go. First period. Chance by Stavros Soilis down the wing. Graham drops it back. Here's a chance in the slot. Big stop by Paul and doesn't know where the puck went. Now the Thunderbirds have it back the other way. Ford down the left side. John Batita gives it back to Ford. Pulls up in the slot. Ford a shot sent just wide. Best opportunity of the night and it belongs to Gus Ford. He heads to the bench now after a long shift. Prowlers galloping ahead now is Alex Johnson. Player assistant coach out to the near side in Federley. Throwing this one back around. Chris Paul in directing traffic. Sends George Holt on to play that one around. Taken now by George Holt between the faceoff dots. As 14.54 to go. We've got a penalty and an interference call. Looks like that'll send Jacob Schnapp to the penalty box. Just about five minutes gone here in the opening frame of this one. First power play belongs to Port Huron on the other side of this break. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button. Jacob Schnapp in the penalty box right now for the Thunderbirds. Scoreless through the first five minutes of this one. But a big chance for the Prowlers coming up right now. Again, we talked about the power play for Port Huron in the last two hockey games. Seven for 17, they went three for six on Thursday night, four for 11 on Friday night. Thunderbirds getting a little lucky to get out of there with a win on Friday with all the penalties going against them. So far tonight, this is their first chance to go back down to the penalty kill. Yuri Pestuka, John Batita out there with, looks like Vaughn Clouston and Dawson Baker playing center. The penalty killing four right now with Jacob Schnapp in the box. This one will have a quick uh, stoppage there and a hand pass as Stavros Soilis advances that one with his right paw. As Jacob Schnapp looks on this play, will resume right in front of him. Neutral zone faceoff. Fourth coming here is the Thunderbird penalty kill, chipping this one back out. Varte Einen talked about his explosive shot. He's working the point right now for the Prowlers. And it's controlled down the left side. Spinning there. Brennan Young moving this one back up top. It's the captain Henning. Sent back underneath Soilis. Bodied there by Von Clouston. Frazura controls and moves it back up top for Henning. Minute and a half left. On oh, the Jacob Schnapp penalty, two for interference as this one chopped away there by Yuri Pestuka. Almost chipped back out by John Batita, but the Prowlers have to untangle themselves from each other. Batita still swatting at it. Now it comes to Pestuka and backhanding this one down the length of the ice. Solid work by the Thunderbird penalty kill. 
That will knock about 45 seconds off the man advantage. Stavros Soilis now down the right side into Carolina territory. Frazura bumped there by Clouston. Puck to the near side boards. Out of the corner, Cody Oaks on now with Clouston. Blake Peavy and Tommy Cardinal on as well. Finally out of this right wing corner, the Prowlers have numbers. It's Brendan Young with Alex Johnson at the point, moving this one back down low. Soilis from underneath, waiting patiently. Finds a lane up top. Federley, center point, waiting. Back down the other side now. Soilis, back for Federley. Right point, winds, fires that one through traffic. Big stop by Paulin. Rebound taken now by Johnson. 34 seconds on the power play. 13.26 to go in the period. Still scoreless right now in the opening frame of this one. Alex Johnson, wheels now down the right wing corner. Peels up, finds Young again. Sidesteps Cody Oaks, headed toward the goal. Lost the puck there, swatted up by Oaks. Collected by Blake Peavy, and skated out towards the blue line. Wasting time there nicely was Peavy. He clears it the length of the ice. One more line change here for the Thunderbirds on this penalty kill. Eight seconds on the man advantage for Port Huron. Talapov comes over, goes shoulder to shoulder with Cade Lambden. Now it's collected and moved up the right side boards, poked at by Gus Ford. Prowlers hold it in, time expires. Now here's a chance in front for Lambden. Out of the box is Schnapp. Viktor Grabenikov works the puck free. Back the other way come the Thunderbirds. Down the right side, Ford drops for Batita. Big stop by Simons. John Batita. Put the hammer into that one. 12.40 to go in the first period. 3-1 the shots in favor of Carolina. Corey Simons making some pretty solid saves so far. Big, big penalty kill for Carolina right there. They scored the opening goal on Thursday night. Port Huron scored the opening goal last night. But most of the time, that first goal, all important. And usually a good indication of who's going to win the game. Now it's turned over. Here comes Dalton Jay down the right side. Thrown in front through the skates of Pestuka. Diving after that one was Matt Graham. And Ford moves it up now. Petita to Warfield. Down the right side. They gain the zone. Warfield pulls up. Hits the weak side. It's P uh, Yuri Pestuka's shot there turned out. Simons makes the save. A rebound chance in front. John Petita almost stuffed it home on the back end. Here's a chance now. Dalton Jay down the right side with Graham. Broken up nicely by Vaughn Clouston. Johnson on this one, a turning shot sent wide past the glove side of Paulin. Far side, Federley from the left wing hash marks. Works it back up top for Zura. Cycles back down low, Federley on this one again. Alternate captain here for Port Huron. From the center point, moving Johnson, one time shot there, blocked aside by Warfield. Clouston taken to the boards by Frazura. Moved all the way back around, Yuri Pestuka on this one. 11.44 to go. First period brought to you by First Bank as a turnover at center. Frazura back the other way, three on two for Port Huron. Lowers the shoulder. Down the right side, in behind the goal now. Frazura waiting patiently onto the far side. Back up top, Henning, long shot there, sent wide. Off the boards it comes, Clouston chopping at this one. He gets it out through center, and it rolls the length of the ice. That'll bring up an icing with 11.22 to go here in this first period. Scoreless on a December Saturday from North Carolina. A bit warmer here tonight. Thunderbirds had been traveling all across uh, Michigan and going through Ohio. And as the uh, the rest stops proceeded to go farther north, the weather got colder and colder. So coming back here, yep, there was some rain earlier on and tons of rain right now, but the warmer weather had to be a welcome uh, addition to coming home. Still in the Carolina end, Soilis throwing this one back underneath. It pops off a ref, a fortunate bounce there for the Thunderbirds as Gus Ford collects and throws a fluttering puck. Back out through neutral territory. Quinton Roseboom on it here. Roseboom gathering speed as we hit the 11-minute mark. Down the left side away from George Holt. He gets closed off there. Talapov collects in behind the goal. Stepped into there by Soilis. And we'll have a whistle for a cross check. Roseboom, not a fan of that call, but he'll go and sit for two. Thunderbirds have now their first power play opportunity of the game. Roseboom getting tangled up in front, giving just one shove to the back too many. And he'll sit for two minutes and pay the price. Cardinal out with Dawson Baker and Daniel Martin up front on this Thunderbirds power play. Oaks and Clouston working the points right now. 10-52, first power play chance for Carolina tonight. 22% on the man advantage this season as this one chopped back off down the other way. Off the glove of Von Clouston, dropped off by Paulin for Oaks. 
That 22 per second, 22 percent mark, good enough for second in the FPHL on the power play. Daniel Martin now over the line for Carolina. Down the right side, lowers the shoulder. Up near side now, Baker lets it go. One-time shot, Clouston, that one sent just wide. Rebound pops off the boards. Martin was ready for it, but sent down the length of the ice by Port Huron. Paulin stops it, scoops it up and shovels it up the near wing for Daniel Martin. Collected by Cardinal. Now to the far side, thrown back in by Peavy. All the way around, near side again, it comes all the way back out. Thunderbirds completing the line change here. Paulin drops for Grabenikov. Minute four seconds on the man advantage. Roseboom in the box for cross-checking. Pestuka with speed down the left side. Makes a nice move, though it's poked off his stick there. Chipped all the way back out. Nicely gloved by John Batita. He comes from the bench. Now taking a couple of whacks at that puck in the air. Keeping things alive on the power play for Carolina. Now it's collected and flipped the length of the ice. Port Huron getting that one out of danger. 42 seconds to go on the man advantage. Victor Grabenikov. Waiting behind the Thunderbirds goal. 5-4, Carolina leading on the shots. As Grabenikov strides out from his own goal. Throws a bit of a fluttering puck into the skates of John Batita. Cleveland native pulls up into the slot. Sends that one high over the bar. Trying to make the most out of that opportunity. Marteinen chipping this one out off the far side boards. It can't be collected by Cade Lambden. Though it doesn't go the length of the ice. Ramil Talipov here. 13 seconds on the Thunderbird power play. Talipov's got to be careful. Drifting back in, moving it near side. Jacob Schnapp, almost an ill-advised pass there back through center with Matt Graham bearing down. Talapov down the left side now. Penalty time, expires. Roseboom out of the box. He's going to have a breakaway here. 2 on 0 back with Dalton J. Down the right side, a shot. Big stop by Paulin. He got the glove on it and keeps us scoreless. Bad timing there for the Thunderbirds right as the penalty expired. Roseboom out of the box with Dalton Jay. Thought Jay was going to hit Roseboom because he had the speed coming out of the box. Instead, Jay cuts down the left side, turns it into a 2 on 0 with Roseboom. And look at the back checking of Jacob Schnapp there. 8.44 to go. We're scoreless. Let's take a brief media timeout here on the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company... Scoreless from Winston-Salem, thanks largely to the glove hand of Chris Paulin. Talked about it before we uh, had to dip to a quick break there. You saw the back-checking. Jacob Schnapp coming back with a full head of steam, trying to force some pressure there on Roseboom and Dalton J. A great save by Paulin, great back-checking by Schnapp out of a very dangerous chance there. 8.44 to go. Scoreless here in the first bank, first period. Blake Peavy on the defensive zone draw here against Matt Graham. Grabenikov guides this one back behind the Thunderbirds goal, taken now by Cody Oaks. Away from Frazura. Oaks taken down to his knees. Puck leaks out behind him. It's collected by Everett Thompson. Moved on now to Devin Warfield. Warfield making his first trip on the road with the Thunderbirds. This puck moved back out down the right side. Cody Oaks pulls up and lets that one go. It was deflected on its way. Devin Warfield now out of the left wing corner. Fought off there. Oaks spinning now out of the corner. Here he comes. Oaks on the jam play. That one wouldn't go. Loose in the slot. Here comes to Dalton Jay. Three on one back the other way. Jay with Henning and Frazura back in front for Dalton Jay. Oh, backhand pass there. Couldn't go through the crease. And now a centering feed again is denied in front. Dalton Jay sends it for Federley now. Big chance report here on. Just couldn't get the backdoor pass. Far side, Frazura. Let's that one go. Stop by Paul and rebound in the slot. Graham has a chance. Turned out by Paul and two saves by the Thunderbird netminder. And he gets the face off. Chris Paulin. Save after save after save. There's a storm outside and there's a storm inside right now. And Chris Paulin is weathering it. 7.49 to go, first period. 7-6, Port Huron leads on the shot chance. That number could go up very soon. They just threw a bunch there into the pads of Chris Paulin. 
Cardinal on the far side. Thunderbirds end. Von Clauston finding Yuri Pestuka now. Hesitating as he strides across center red. Throws this one cross corner. Bounces there. Port Huron on this one. Federley throws it now for Johnson. Up to the far side. Here comes now Isaiah Crawford. Over the line with speed. Gets spun out there. Tommy Cardinal comes on to give assistance. Chipping it back out. It comes Johnson into the neutral zone to collect for Port Huron. Cross corner dump. Near side. Pestuka on it. 7-12 to go in the opening frame. Scoreless thanks to Paulin and Simons. Pestuka over now for Clauston. Wants a cross ice pass. Petita sends another one cross ice now to the other side. Daniel Martin. Thunderbirds trying to get a line change here. Martin trying to keep this rush alive by himself. Can't do it there. That one almost cleared the length of the ice by Port Huron. John Petita got in the way. So the Prowlers go back to work. As the Thunderbirds trying to set up a four check here. Nicoletti on with Petita and Gus Ford. Thunderbirds trying to set up a trap here. Talapov and George Holt waiting back at the points. Federley near side almost closed off by Talapov. Sent all the way back around. George Holt there for Carolina. Sweeps it on. Turned over. Marte Einen. Gives a pass in front of back end shot goes off the crossbar. What a shot by Brennan Young. Now the Thunderbirds have it, dodging yet another bullet. How many more of those can they dodge though? That's the question. Prowlers have it again in their own end. Federley sends a long one there off the stick of Petita. Chipped wide through Holt. Here's a chance. Vartayan and drops it off. Brennan Young's shot goes high. May have been tipped by Paulin again. And it goes up and out of play. 6.09 to go. Still scoreless in this first bank, first period. Eight six on the shots right now. There have been quiet first periods. There have been busy first periods. And then there's been this first period for Chris Paulin. Probably not the highest volume of shots he's seen, but the quality of chances. Each one is a dangerous scoring threat. These aren't just long drives from the point with uh, their eyes closed. These are genuine scoring chances. Rose Boom. Out of the port here on end. Swinging out to the far side. Jacob Schnapp steps into Matt Graham there. Rose Boom lost this one back into the corner as Grabenikov goes to work against him. Peavy finds Jacob Schnapp. Roller hockey teammates out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Thompson down the left side. Pulls up and shoots that one. It goes wide off of Peavy. Knocked down by Jacob Schnapp. Collected by Dalton J. Flipped all the way back out now onto the tape. Of uh, Frazura, he strides over the line. One against three. Forced back out to center. Now knocked off the puck there by Tommy Cardinal. Frazura lost his helmet, lost the puck, lost his balance. And now Federley on it now. Watched by the forecheck of Cardinal. Talked about him building confidence as the season's gone on. A goal and two assists for three points in last night's contest. Added a fight as well. Got the game misconduct for the third man in. In the lineup tonight. Federley drives that one wide into Carolina's territory as Clausen gets a stick up high from Crawford. Inside five to go in this first period. Clauston will check himself for injuries and Isaiah Crawford will go sit for two on the other side of this break. Carolina back on the power play. Instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your... Second penalty of the night for the Port Huron Prowlers. Isaiah Crawford, two for high, sticking on Vaughn Clouston. You saw that puck come up. Clouston's head immediately snapping back. No blood on the stick there, so just a two-minute minor. But the Thunderbirds power play gets to go back to work. And it looks to be the usual suspects. Baker, Mayfield, Gus Ford, John Batita, and Yuri Pestuka. Lots of right-handed shots out there right now. Devin Warfield is the only left-handed shot. Gus Ford stands in to take this face off. 4.58 to go, scoreless first period. As Pestuka guides this one for Warfield. Baker, rather. Warfield, back to Baker. One-time shot there, ricochets off a leg. Baker in his professional hockey debut. Ford 
Back up top for Warfield. Fanned on that chance. And now the Prowlers can't pull, pick it up out of their skates. Bettina now for Gus Ford down the right side. Button hooks. Finds Warfield. Back over for Ford. Right wing hash marks. Ford waits now. Tries to open up a lane. Give and go with Bettina. Back for Ford. Center point now Warfield. Looks for Baker. Quick little pass through the seam to Gus Ford. He picks it up off the boards. 30 seconds gone on this power play. Poked back out to center. Devin Warfield with some nice skating in front of Alex Johnson, though he blows a tire. Here could be a chance now for the Prowlers. Down low, Johnson shorthanded right in front. Stopped by Paulin as it was deflected off of Warfield. He's beside himself right now. But Paulin bails out Devin Warfield. Right idea for Warfield. Trying to gain some space and get wound up for another breakout on the power play, but he just blows a tire right in front of Chris Paulin. He's able to throw that puck out of danger for the moment. But the Prowler is waiting patiently, setting up a great opportunity, and it looked like Warfield bailed himself out there, cutting off the pass, and the puck was deflected in on Paulin. He makes the save, 4.05 to go. A minute, eight seconds on the Thunderbird power play. Clauston taken to the boards by Dalton J. Kick now to Victor Grabenikov. Martin back for Grabenikov. Looking to skate this one out of danger. Back for Daniel Martin. He's got tons of skating room. Gives up now to Tommy Cardinal down the left side. Cross ice feed taken by Grabenikov. Underneath for Daniel Martin. Off the boards. He rides it all the way back up top to the hash marks. Gus Ford's office. Give and go with Grabenikov. Martin patiently. 37 seconds. Cross ice pass knocked away there by the stick of Graham. Clauston collects and throws it underneath for Cardinal. Cardinal. Finds Daniel Martin. Thunderbird still looking for a shot here. Grabenikov, center point. Clauston, left wing. Then right in front there. A nice save as Tommy Cardinal was waving at that one. Corey Simons makes the stop. Gets a whistle and a faceoff. 3.19 to go. A little known earlier about Dawson Baker. Made the remark that tonight was his first professional game. Not the case. Skated with the SPHL's Pensacola Ice Flyers. We mentioned that earlier. First game in the FPHL. First game with the Thunderbirds. 3.19 to go. I had a chance off the draw for Jacob Schnapp. As he gets a little bit of an extra whack in afterwards. As Schnapp draws the ire of two Prowlers. A third is down behind the play. Prowl, uh, Schnapp rather getting taken into the boards. Slowly getting up now is Stavros Soilis. Schnapp getting a bit of an extra whack in there on the pads of Corey Simons. It didn't look egregious. As in his face now is Alex Johnson. So out of all of that, no penalties. As Jacob Schnapp's just going to go right back to work here. Not afraid to stand in front. Taking the brunt of physical contact. Made comparisons to Travis Konechny. Patrick Hornquist. Joe Pavelski in the way he stands in front of the net and just takes a beating. But he gets rewarded for it. 16 seconds on the Thunderbird power plays. This one... Cleared the length of the ice. Back in behind Paul and his George Holt. He collects and drops it off there for Yuri Peshtuka. Dalton Jay not making it easy for him. Skated in six games in a Thunderbirds uniform back in 2018, did Dalton Jay. Down the right side, Gus Ford. Here he comes, riding the goal line. Penalty time has expired. Ford in the left wing faceoff circle. Shifty now, top of the slot. Let's it go for Thompson. Near side, patiently. Thompson button hooks. 2.45 to go in the first period. Knifed off his stick. Taken down to the near side. Johnson tangles with Ford. He's back on his feet now. This one cleared the length of the ice and swatted down by George Holt. Near side pass for Gus Ford. Over the line. Ford swivels it now for Thompson. Fresh from the bench is Martin joining the play. Thompson gets hit with a solid shoulder there from Alex Johnson, but Martin's got the puck. Sends it up top. Grabenikov lets that one go. Tipped through traffic, not on goal. Thompson from the goal line. Dishes underneath for Martin. Martin away there from Federley. They'll kick at that puck, and it comes now near side. Soilis gathering speed. Three Prowlers back. Now one peels off and goes to the bench. Soilis fighting through some contact now. Away from Grabenikov. Both men go down in the heap. And the puck comes now to Ramil Talapov. Inside two minutes to go in a scoreless first period as Daniel Martin gallops after a loose puck. Martin away from a body check. Tries to find Batita. Here's a chance in the slot. Thunderbirds alternate captain. Gives on now for Dawson Baker. Long shot. Talapov right on goal. Save made by Simons. And there is no rebound. 
Right idea for Ramil Talipov. Getting that shot off, but the traffic just parted in time. And the Prowlers netminder able to make the save. Baker on again with Batita. Tommy Cardinal earning the confidence of his coach. He's back on the ice right now. Cardinal battling through, wins that puck battle, and he's got it. Centers, Batita, a chance stopped by Simons as he reaches out with the stick and the glove and robs John Batita. Thunderbirds leading goal scorer. Six goals and seven helpers for 13 points on the year. Offensive zone draw, one back to Clouston. Punched out by Simons. Final 90 seconds of the first. Most eventful first period we've seen from Winston-Salem this season without a goal scored. Lots of time for that to change. Cardinal throwing this one back down. Rose Boom collects from Port Huron territory. Swivels this one back on now for Henning. Outlet pass picked off by Cardinal. Tries to chip this one back into Port Huron territory, and he does. And the Prowlers take over here. Final minute of play. Henning waiting patiently, weaving his way through the Thunderbirds. Right wing shot, that one hobbled Yuri Pestuka as it comes to rest now in the near side corner. Baker can't get to that one. Prowlers have it, 49 seconds in the first. Taken now by Vartainen. Near side, wants a lane, throws it down low. Chance for Brennan Young. Swivels this one up top, Henning, cross ice feet. Here's a chance, Roseboom through traffic, knocked down by Cardinal as that one chipped up and out of play as Roseboom and Cardinal exchange Christmas greetings. Little extra bump there. Tommy Cardinal, not afraid to throw his weight around, not afraid to get involved in some dust-ups. Dropping the gloves later in the game last night. Another defensive zone face-off coming up here for the Thunderbirds. The PV line is on. David Nicoletti slotting in on the left side. Grabenikov now for Cody Oaks. The Russian defense pairing of Grabenikov and Talipov has been split up right now. Final 25, Federley controls. Throws it back down low. Now it's intercepted by Cody Oaks. Oaks with blazing speed down the left side. Cuts in, wants to drop it off for Schnapp. Instead, the Prowlers take it. Dalton Jay, a two-on-one back with Graham. Trying to feed Graham, tied up nicely there by Cody Oaks. Final 10 seconds, picked off by Dalton Jay, a turning shot sent wide. David Nicoletti chips it now down the right side. Tangles with Federley, two seconds and one. Staple gun to the boards, no one's going to be able to move it. Time expires. 11 shots for the visiting Prowlers. 10 for the home Thunderbirds, but no score through the first 20 minutes here. The fans will have to wait just a little bit longer to unleash those teddy bears. Chris Paulin and Corey Simons putting on an absolute goaltending clinic. We'll take a brief break, and when we come back, first intermission report here from Winston-Salem on the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. 
group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Welcome back to Winston-Salem. We are deadlocked with goose eggs on the board right now. First 20 minutes of play in the books. Neither the Thunderbirds nor the Prowlers able to step up and get on the board, thanks largely in part to both goaltenders. We welcome you back inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds. Annex Dylan Clark with you on Thunderbirds intermission right now. Chris Paulin, 11 saves. Well, now they just adjusted the uh, the shots on the scoreboard right there, of course, as I glanced up. Chris Paulin and Corey Simons putting on a goaltending clinic right now. 11 saves for one, nine for the other. And really, we talked about not the highest volume of shots that a goaltender is going to have to see, especially in this league where it's not at all uncommon to see 15 or even 20, sometimes 25 shots a period on uh, more dangerous nights, but 11 to 9 is a pretty run of the mill shot total in the first period. But the quality of chances is where this period has really stood out. The Prowlers, time and time again, getting chance after chance. You saw Paul make a couple of two and three save sequences, really shutting the door there in close. Uh, it's uh, something the Thunderbirds will have to obviously shut down. Those chances in close can't be allowed to happen, but Paulin doing what he does best, making those timely saves. And that's all you can ask for out of your goaltender. And for the Thunderbirds on the offensive side of things, they've looked pretty good through the early going of things here, getting some great opportunities. Gus Ford, as always, a shifty player, a sneaky player, just able to dart his way through the Prowlers and set up a number of opportunities. And as always seems to be the case, John Batita has an opportunity or two where he really could have put that puck in the back of the net had something gone just a little bit differently for him. Had a number of opportunities in the slot there as the puck fluttered up over the crossbar on Port Huron goaltender Corey Simons who remains unbeaten through the early goings of tonight's game. But we talked about it in the pregame show. Jacob Schnapp and Daniel Martin as well as uh, Dawson Baker needing to come up big here. The new players and old players coming back into the lineup acting as new players will need to be huge for the Thunderbirds going forward. And it looked as though Schnapp, Martin, and Baker were three of the most notable forwards out there for Carolina, and that is a good step in the right direction moving forward. Another quick break, and when we come back, we'll take a look more in-depth at the Prowlers, the out-of-town scoreboard, and more heading into the second period when we're back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up-to-date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. 
That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. Back inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. 20 minutes in the books. No score here between Port Huron and the Carolina Thunderbirds. Uh, not the only game tonight in the FPHL, as was the case on Thursday night. Bit of a different situation there, Carolina and Port Huron. The only action on that night. But tonight, everyone else joins the fray. Delaware at Watertown tonight. Wolves coming off of a 7-4 win over the Thunder. Watertown sitting comfortably in first place in the FPHL. 9-3 one and oh, that one, uh, an overtime win. 744 points percentage for the Watertown Wolves. Next closest is Danbury in second place with a 690 points percentage. The hat tricks are not in action tonight. And Binghamton goes down to Columbus to play the River Dragons. That game underway. Scoreless from both right now. Columbus squeaked out a 7 to 5 win despite a number of goals by the league's leading scorer, Nikita Ivashkin, in the Binghamton Black Bears lineup. Uh, again, he continues to terrorize goaltenders. Just a hard nosed player really going to the net and scoring lots of goals that way. The River Dragons came out victorious last night, but uh, they'll look to go back to work tonight and climb their way back up the standings. Columbus right now, that fourth team uh, in a playoff field of four for the FPHL. Obviously, the playoffs quite a long way away, but uh, the, uh, the, the traditional thinking, uh, at least in the NHL and other leagues uh, of hockey, is that American Thanksgiving is kind of the benchmark by which the playoff field is pretty much shored up. Now, here in the FPHL, that's a little bit different because of a number of factors. One, the season starts later on, so you could probably push that back a month. And two, there's only seven teams in the league this year, so that means lots and lots of opportunity uh, for jostling, sliding up, sliding back down in the standings. So for these teams, uh, trying to get as many points early on and give themselves that cushion as the Wolves have done right now uh, in the standings by time playoffs come around, but uh, the Columbus River Dragons trying to build their way back up right now. And the out-of-town scoreboard in the out-of-league will stick with uh, the relative regions here. The Carolina Hurricanes are in action tonight. 10 p.m. puck drop from Edmonton as they take on Connor McDavid and the Oilers. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings are not in action tonight. Probably the closest NHL team to the Port Huron Prowlers. Uh, just about probably an hour drive, maybe 45 minutes from Port Huron as the Thunderbirds bus went right up through the Motor City last night on its way up to Port Huron. So the Red Wings not in action tonight, but that just about wraps up our out-of-town scoreboard. One last break, and when we come back, we'll preview what should be an eventful second period when we're back with more Thunderbirds hockey. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. 
After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Welcome back to Winston-Salem for the last time on this first intermission report. Scoreless through the first 20 minutes, Carolina leading on the shot board 11-9 as those were most recently adjusted. Again, Corey Simons, the goaltender for Port Huron, and Chris Paul in between the pipes for Carolina right now, keeping things where they're at and keeping the lid on things as far as scoring goes. So for the Thunderbirds in this second period, offensively really no adjustments to make there. They're getting the chances. They're getting traffic in front, utilizing the points. We saw a couple of opportunities Von Clouston, Devin Warfield uh, raining some shots from the point of the power play. Real Talipov had a pretty good chance, but no traffic in front on Talipov's chance. So really sticking to that, working those perimeter chances. And again, Gus Ford, once he picks up that puck on the edge, working his way back into the seam, it's, uh, it's uh, pretty much the classic Gus Ford play. Pick up the puck on the left wing half wall and skate it right into the slot and no one's going to touch you. Gets off a pretty good chance. So we'll expect to see that play a considerable amount of times in this second period. But on the defensive end of things for Carolina, uh, it's just too many chances with too much frequency in too dangerous of an area. Handful of chances uh, right inside the house, as they say. That area in the slot from, uh, from the circles down going in towards the blue paint. Too many high danger opportunities for Chris Paul. And uh, there's only so many times he's going to be able to come up big on those eventually. If these kinds of chances persist, uh, he will falter. And again, it'll be uh, too much balance going the other way. Prowlers getting the momentum there should the levy break that way. So for the Thunderbirds, keeping things out of the middle of the ice, forcing Pure Port Huron to the outside and maintaining the status quo offensively. But in the defensive end is where things should probably change for the Thunderbirds. One last break. And on the other side of it, the Modern Automotive second period as we're scoreless from Winston-Salem. wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. 
After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples design. Moments away from period number two here in Winston-Salem. Thunderbirds and Prowlers scoreless through 20 minutes. No carryover penalties or power plays. The Thunderbirds leading the shots 11 to nine right now. Chance after chance, it's the new guy, Dawson Baker. Centering Daniel Martin and Tommy Cardinal been one of Carolina's most effective forward lines tonight. They go against the Cade Lambden line of Port Huron. We're down and underway in the second period. Carolina moving left to right in this one. George Holt tangled up in behind the Thunderbirds goal. We go right back to where we started. Scoreless. Back through center, Federley picking up this loose puck, moving it now, Alex Johnson has to go D to D back in his own end, bit of an uncomfortable pass there. Federley on it now, he looks to skate this one away from Daniel Martin. Alex Johnson motoring on through center, flipping puck here, George Holt back to get it, right wing corner, he holds off Alex Johnson nicely there. Up to give some help in chipping this one back up for Cardinal, nice blind feed there to Johnson, uh, Dawson Baker rather. Larry Vartayainen on the loose puck, back in, Behind the Port Huron goal. 9.15 to go. Just 45 seconds gone in this second period. Brought to you by Modern Automotive. And as that puck pinballs around in front of the Port Huron bench. May have hit a player on the bench. But play continues as this one wrapped around the horn there. Inside Thunderbird territory. As that puck hit a player as they were in the midst of a line change. The Prowlers only have four players on the ice right now. Thunderbirds look to take advantage of that. As Henning gets tangled up with Gus Ford. Here's a chance. He lets it go for Warfield. Down the left side, tries to center that one for John Petita. Nothing doing there. And this one moved back on now for Gus Ford. Right in front, Warfield a shot, and it was in behind the goaltender. Puck stayed out though. May have caught Simons in the armpit. Looked as though it was an optical illusion. Now Clauston to drive from the point. That one deflected and goes wide. Settled down by Warfield. Clauston up top, cross ice feet. Pestuka lets that one go, it, it sends wide. Warfield, Clauston from the point. Deflected off of a Prowler stick out of play. Minute 40 seconds gone in this second period. Some big chances for Carolina here early on. At least from the, from the angle up here, it was tough to see where that puck went. After it hit Simons, it kind of moved uh, parallel to the camera lens, I guess I would say. Looked like an optical illusion. It may have been, it looked as though it may have been in beside, in behind Corey Simons. But the officials in a good position to see that one. He was pretty much right on the goal line there. So able to make the right call as the Thunderbirds Blake Peavy stands in now for this offensive zone faceoff. Prowlers able to win it back. Out up the far side boards. Still waiting for our first goal here on Teddy Bear Toss Night. Jacob Schnapp down the right side. There's this one thrown back out. Ramil Talipov through center. Grabenikov back and forth with Talipov. Now Peavy through center. Peavy with some speed. Four Prowlers on him. Fanned on that chance, he wanted to pull the trigger. Nothing doing there, but Blake Peavy picks the pocket of Frazura. 
Hard on that play is Peavy. One of the Thunderbirds more hard-nosed four checkers as Jacob Schnapp buries for sure in the corner, and he gets taken down behind the play. But play goes on. Dustin Henning now trying to work things back in towards Carolina's end. Nothing doing there. Thompson sends for Jacob Schnapp as he gets buried. That'll be a delayed penalty, and Thompson waves at that one. Poked away by Simons. As right in front of the Thunderbirds bench, you saw that one coming from a mile away. Quinton Roseboom plants a defenseless Jacob Schnapp into the ledge right there. Schnapp, forechecking hard deep in the Prowler's end, throws a hit. And Zach Frazier didn't like it, so he took down Schnapp behind the plate. Schnapp certainly uh, the most popular Thunderbird as far as the Prowlers are concerned. But after that, Roseboom back to the penalty box as the Thunderbirds go back to the power play here. Moving this one right out in front, a shot there deflected wide by John Batita. Thunderbirds third power play chance of the night. Rolling puck settled down by Yuri Peshtuka. Roseboom in the box for a rough. Peshtuka, far side, Batita, Thunderbirds moving the puck with authority. Here comes Gus Ford right in front of shot, big stop by Simons. Rebound cleared back out, Peshtuka wanted the whack at it. Couldn't keep that puck from being sent the length of the ice as Chris Paulin drops it off for Peshtuka again. Just about three minutes gone here in this second period. Minute 20 left on the power play for Carolina. Third opportunity of the night. Gus Ford now into the slot. Backdoor feed, big save there. Baker denied by Simons. Dawson Baker drifting back up top. Baker wants a lane. That fell a penalty killer. Peshtuka back down now, it looks like Vaughn Clouston spins and gives to Gus Ford below the goal line. Up top, Peshtuka, all kinds of time and space. Let's it go the one-time shot, Baker goes wide. Still the Thunderbirds pressuring, it's Clouston. Taken it into the boards from behind, as that'll certainly drop penalty. And Johnson gives the puck a kick, maybe Clouston. As Clouston still hasn't gotten up, we can't see him from our vantage point right now. He got drilled from behind. 16-17 to go in the second period. Don't like to make any baseless accusations, but you saw there some foot movement from Alex Johnson, who from the penalty box seems to believe that Clauston put his own head into the glass, as his demonstration has shown. Vaughn Clauston being helped back to the Thunderbirds bench. Again, don't want to make any baseless accusations, but it looked like there was a kicking motion as Johnson went by. Not sure if he was kicking at the puck or at Von Clouston. Either one is equally possible right now. So we'll leave it at that for right now. 16-17 to go in the second period. As Johnson's going to get the gate right here. No surprise there. As Johnson beside himself again. So for the second consecutive night, a Prowler is ejected for a hit from behind on the Thunderbirds. On a Thunderbird, I should say. And Johnson still giving it to the officials right now. Five in the game for Johnson. That'll be all the attention we give to that one. Vaughn Clouston is on the Thunderbirds bench. Hunched over right now. So 50 seconds remain on the initial penalty to Quentin Roseboom. 50 seconds at five on three. Nick Williams comes over to serve the penalty for the Prowlers. 50 seconds at five on three. And then after that, a five minute major will still be on the board as Alex Johnson boards Vaughn Clouston. Baker to take this offensive zone draw. He's out there with Petita, Ford, Oaks, and Pestuka. Prowlers win this one and clear at the length of the ice. Chris Paul in to stop it. In behind his own net. Dawson Baker waiting at the far blue line here as Cody Oaks brings this one up. Near side, Gus Ford with speed. Down the line in a scoreless game. Gus Ford to the goal. Backhand shot stopped by Simons. Big chance for the Thunderbirds forward as this one cleared out off the glass. Down the length of the ice. Paul in to stop it here. Cody Oaks. 18 seconds on the five on three. Thunderbirds looking to break the deadlock. It's Gus Ford. Has some trouble with it down the right side. Pulls up, gives it back up top. Cody Oaks, center point. Yuri Pestuka. They switch. Pestuka 
As penalty time winds down, Gus Ford, high slot, can't settle the puck down. Guides it over now for Cody Oaks. Far side, Roseboom, out of the box. Stack at four on four. Five on four, I should say. That one sent wide. Up it comes now as Roseboom has trouble with it. Matt Graham trying to send it down the length of the ice. Off the boards, Oaks chips it back this way. Couldn't be skated into by John Batita, and the Prowler is clear. Bouncing puck in on Chris Paulin. Bit of a dangerous play there. He's able to hunch over and make the stop. 14-9, Carolina leads on the shots right now as Dalton Jay trying to make life difficult for Gus Ford. 3.40 to go on the major penalty to Alex Johnson. Viktor Grabenikov now from the right wing corner, away from Federley. Working things all the way around. Talapov, give and go with his countryman Grabenikov. Down the left side. Grabenikov centering that one for Peavy. Goes by the wayside. Tommy Cardinal chipping up to try and keep this puck in. Daniel Martin couldn't keep it away from Cade Landon. So he does keep it from going the length of the ice, and here comes Martin right now. Over the line, new defenseman on. Dropping this one back, Talapov. Underneath for Cardinal, 3-10 to go on the major penalty as Cardinal gets taken down. A shove from Federley, back on his skates now is Cardinal. Backhand pass, Martin. Now Peavy, back over for Cardinal. Steps out, a shot there, stopped by Simons. Inside, three minutes to go on the major. 4-11 to go, second period still. Scoreless as Grabenikov, finds that one into the slot. Away from Tommy Cardinal. Up top, PV Thunderbirds circling. Near side, Grabenikov. Wanted the seam pass for Talapov. As a penalty here, Talapov has taken down Austin Federley. Those two just kind of got tangled up here. As a fortunate break for the Prowlers. Grabenikov, uh, Talapov rather, unable to control the stick there. Uh, so that will temporarily negate the power play for the Thunderbirds. Not entirely, though. We'll go four on four for two minutes, and Carolina will go back to an abbreviated power play at the end of it. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, Prowlers now. Right onto your home. To give themselves a little bit of breathing room. Gus Ford gets guided into the boards there by the hip of Varteinen. Austin Federley, near side for Jura. Sending this one across, Brennan Young. That one rejected and moved back out for Jura. Now for Federley, away from Varte Einen now. Hits the red line and shovels this one in on the backhand. For Jura, cross ice feet in front, Brennan Young. He goes down and play continues, Gus Ford now. Thunderbirds a little gassed here, these same players have been out for a while, Yuri Pashtuka. Receives the saucer pass. Dawson Baker in the slot. Still got it. Sends a backhander on goal, and Simons knocks it aside. George Holt has to race back now with Frazura. Pauling out to play it. Oh, he fumbled the puck a little bit there. Could have been dangerous. Chipped back up by Yuri Pestuka. Minute 10 to go on the four on four. Back and forth we've gone here from Winston Salem. For about 30 minutes now. Still no score. 13 minutes to go in the second period. Near side, Matt Graham. Down the left wing away from George Holt. Throws that one off a skate in front. Clouston's back on the ice after being hit from behind. George Holt going to work against Brennan Young. Puck worked out. Now it's Gus Ford. Ford able to throw this one far side for Vaughn Clouston. Back with Dawson Baker. Ford, they hit the line onside. Baker wants Ford back door. Escorted back out by Varte Einen. Three on one, maybe three on two now as Baker gets back. Disrupts that play. Williams. That's Caleb Williams moving it back underneath. Vartayin and up top, Federley walks, center point, lets it go and he scores! Austin Federley, a seeing eye shot from the blue line. Up and over the glove of Chris Paul and it's 1-0 Port Huron. Goal number seven on the season for Austin Federley. Again, just a, a seeing eye shot, and he's really set up in his office right there. Federley running that center point all weekend long. Gets a nice chance as Talapov escorted back to the penalty box because that came at four on four. There's no penalty uh, or no power play for it to wipe out. So the first goal of the game belongs to the Prowlers. Carolina out shooting them 16 to 11. Here's a nice move now by Jacob Schnapp. Over the line, lets that one go. A quick shot there, bounces off the boards though. Good chance here for Jacob Schnapp as he gets tied up. Taken away by the Prowlers. Soilis 
Away from Peavy. Guided this one on goal. Guided out by Chris Paulin. And now Jacob Schnapp tries to take it down the right wing. He's going to have a three on one. Jacob Schnapp with Pestuka. Has it now. Let's it go. Big stop by Simons. The rebound is loose in front of shot. They score! Right in front. Unleash the teddy bears. The Thunderbirds tie it at one. Looks like Talapov sends the teddies flying. How about that for redemption? Talapov wipes out the power play with a tripping penalty. The Prowlers score first, but Talapov comes right out of the penalty box and bangs home a rebound to put Carolina on the board. That will be Ramil Talapov's first goal in a Thunderbirds uniform. That one coming at four on four as well. All that out of a three on one. As Von Clauston's got the biggest, uh, not quite a teddy bear, it looks like a triceratops. And again, the, uh, the unwritten rule of teddy bear toss is obviously it doesn't have to be a teddy bear. It can be a teddy triceratops as this one back out at center ice. Again, all these bears right now, after they find their way onto the ice, will be collected and taken to the Winston-Salem police and fire departments, given to children in distress as they need them. But all that out of a three-on-one. A good feed. It looked like Yuri Peshtuka could have had the best chance to put that one home. Simons made a good save, and then all of a sudden, it just turns to absolute chaos in front. All eight skaters on the ice. Again, we were playing at four-on-four. Four. Well, I guess that'll come as a power play goal with Talapov back on the ice. They'll ruin it. Well, see, that, that'll have to be sorted out. The, it's on the board right now as an even strength goal from Talapov, but that can't be because Talapov was the one in the penalty box making it four on four, not to confuse anybody. Still 25, 25 seconds remain on the major penalty to Alex Johnson. Again, he boarded um, or hit from behind, I should say, Von Clausen earlier on. So the Thunderbirds, after they get all the Bears cleaned up here, We'll get to go right back to work on the power play, and the difference tonight has probably been confidence. The Thunderbirds look incredibly confident as they move the puck around, not just on the power play, but at even strength as well. They know where they're going with the puck. There's a certain swagger to the way they're moving it. And again, it's just maintaining that level of play that'll lead to more success as time goes on. Thunderbirds have done a teddy bear toss every season since the club's inaugural year in 2017-18, with the exception, of course, of uh, the road-only season played in the spring of 2021. And in a building that's been around for quite some time has a good bit of history to it. We talked about the history of McMoran Arena last night, the silver stick and all that, and uh, the history of teddy bear toss here in the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. It would have been the 2018-2019 season. Zach DeBozart, current play-by-play uh, -play man of the Columbus River Dragons, was at the time working with the Thunderbirds, and on that teddy bear toss night, DeBozart tried to launch one from all the way up here at the broadcast booth, and it didn't get far. The bear, unfortunately, found its way smack dab into one of the ventilation pipes that runs its way. Uh, through the rafters here at the Fairgrounds Annex, and you can still see a teddy bear-shaped imprint in uh, some of the dust that uh, sits on the ventilation pipe right now. So serving as a constant reminder of the cannon possessed by the former Thunderbirds broadcaster. That teddy bear, I'm told, eventually did make its way onto the ice. So a crisis averted there. And if you follow the Thunderbirds on social media, you got to see Von Clauston and Cody Oaks demonstrate the proper technique to throwing the teddy bears. Again, it's not as easy as it looks because you're not throwing a, a particularly heavy object. You're throwing fluff and, and fabric sewn together in the shape of a bear. So it, uh, it takes a little bit more skill than you would expect. But uh, again, we'll try to get the official tally of teddy bears thrown on the ice tonight. It's starting to be an impressive mark. 
as we sit at 1-1 right now. We'll wait for these Bears to get cleaned up and uh, we'll get ready to go here again. As now Winston and Salem have come over to give some help. So if you're just with us, again, it's been a bit of a break here. Federley opened the scoring up on this four on four. A long seeing eye shot from the point that seemed to suck the air out of the building. But again, another difference in tonight's game from others. The Thunderbirds didn't seem dejected. They didn't play any differently. They still carried the momentum and a lot of the confidence in the way they advanced the play. They come right down, not even a full minute later, to come down and score. Again, it looks like Ramil Talipov credited with the goal. Jacob Schnapp and Blake Peavy. The Florida boys getting the assists on this one as we're back underway. 23 seconds now left on the major penalty. Now shorthanded chance for Dalton Jay and he scores right off the hop. What a release from Dalton Jay. And the good feelings don't last too long here from Winston-Salem. It's 2-1 Prowlers. Dalton J, what a shot. Tied for the team lead now, his eighth goal on the season. So maybe that'll suck the wind out of the sails of the Thunderbirds here. Jay's been a player that been all over the ice as right now Graham having some extra words with Blake Peavy. So we'll redo that face off. This time the Thunderbirds win it. Dalton J able to split the defense there as George Holt drops this off for Blake Peavy. Oh, look at the mental toughness of the Thunderbirds right now. Peavy with five seconds left. The centering feed for Jacob Schnapp. Down at the point. Cody Oaks wanted the feed for George Holt. Poked away from him. Nick Williams is out of the box. A diving play trying to knock it free from George Holt. Holt on this one around. Taken now by Cody Oaks. Oaks to the near side. Wanted to throw that one back up for Jacob Schnapp. Sends this one cross ice on the dump in. Corey Simons able to easily steer this one Back out the other way. Through center now, Grabenikov. Both teams completing line changes. 10.44 to go. Second period, 2-1 thanks to Dalton J. Shorthanded goal. Prowlers come back the other way. Quinton Roseboom. Down the right side, Stavros Soilis. Side steps Talipov. Roseboom taken into the boards there by Warfield. Up top, Cade Lambden. Throwing this one back down low. From the goal line, Roseboom turns out and sends that one. It's headed aside by Chris Paulin. You can hear that one clack off the side of his mask. Thrown back out to center across center red. Racing after this one to try and beat out the icing is Devin Warfield, but nothing doing there. Warfield getting after it. Showing some good speed there, but just not enough. Had an assist on Thursday night's contest. A goal and two assists in this now his fifth Game in a Thunderbirds uniform. Product of Utica College. Signed about halfway through the month of November. Been a player to watch for Carolina. Talked about Tommy Cardinal playing the right way. Warfield plays a similar style. Not quite as much hitting, but all the speed. And has generated a good bit of scoring chances. And now he throws that one into the skates of Dalton Baker, who gets it back right now. Dawson Baker down the right side. Has a chance in front. Daniel Martin, a backhand chance. Couldn't get it off. He'll draw a hooking penalty, though. All right, Varteinen will be whistled here as the puck is touched by Federley. Varteinen, not a fan of that one. So the Thunderbirds will go back to the power play as they chase the score right now. 2-1 Port Huron leads. 9.49 left in the second period. We'll take a brief break. wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Marte Einen in the box right now for what we expect to be a hooking call Minor penalty, just around the 10 minute mark. 
10.01 to go in this second period. Thunderbirds to their fifth power play opportunity of the night. Officially, they haven't had a power play goal, but since Talipov was the one in the box, and then he got out and scored the goal that technically should be a power play goal, so we'll just keep that one circled on the score sheet right now. That'll most likely be gone back and changed. Fifth power play chance for the Thunderbirds right now. Dawson Baker from the right wing circle tries to win it sideways for John Batita. He wrestles Henning down there and comes away with the puck. Thunderbirds alternate captain dishes for Baker. Waiting now. Center point. Pestuka on this one. Guides it over for Gus Ford. Thunderbirds out shooting Port here on 20-3 right now, though they trail it 2-1. Ford out of the left wing corner. Up top. Baker. Near side. Pestuka. Waiting here. Holding that one inside the blue line. Gives on back for Baker. Wanted to send that one back on for Tommy Cardinal. Two Prowlers come back the other way. It's Soyless and Cade, La Cade Landon. Soyless sends that one through the goal mouth. Landon on it here. Cardinal going for the reverse hit. Puck now for Yuri Peshtuka. 45 seconds gone on the power play. Fifth opportunity of the night for Carolina. Gus Ford has some trouble with this one. Yuri Peshtuka down the left side. Chips this one all the way around. Dawson Baker lets that one go by. Gus Ford couldn't chop at it. And here comes Matt Graham. Going to have a chance as he spins out Gus Ford. Graham short-handed. Nice move. Paulin pokes it free. Oh, and he makes a dazzling glove save. Great stop by Paulin. As the puck shot on goal there by Cade Lambden. Sprawling save after sprawling save for Chris Paulin in this one. Remember that stop. Short-handed. 40 seconds to go on the power play. Baker sends that one through the goal mouth. Far side corner. Gus Ford, swatted down by Baker and collected by Batita behind the goal. Up top now, Ford waits, finds Baker, right point, has a chance, schnapp in the slot, can't get a clean shot off, that one goes wide. Batita gets it back from Gus Ford, below the goal line again. Ford, left wall, Clouston, near side, Baker, final 14 seconds of the power play, stopped by Simons there. Rebound settled down by Ford, Clouston again, up top to Baker. Back for Clouston, has a lane, goes across for Ford. Can't settle down the bouncing puck. Four seconds to go, a shot right in front. Batita going for the rebound, and Corey Simons says no there. One second left on the hooking call to Larry Varteinen. Looking to kill off another one here. Thunderbirds went 0 for 4 on the power play Thursday night. 2 for 9 on Friday night. Gus Ford, as we said, with both of those power play goals. As it is just, again, a matter of time right now. The Thunderbirds out shooting the Prowlers 22-14 over the course of this whole game. 11-6 in this middle frame. As they'll have to redrop this puck. Waiting for that final second of Arte Einan's penalty to come off the clock. Viktor Grabenikov is standing right in front of Arte Einan As he's about to be released and is a breakaway threat right now. Prowlers do win this faceoff, but for a moment, Arte Einan is released. Thunderbirds fail to convert. Now he's a chance for Schnapp. Turned aside by Simons. Daniel Martin taken into the boards by Graham. Schnapp and Martin pull this one out. A chance in front. PV a shot. Big save by Simon. And the rebound. Oh, getting mugged in front is Jacob Schnapp. Off balance. And he's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Matt Graham. Schnapp will take a lot. He's used to taking some of the punishment there as Simons gives him a little bit of an extra jawing. That looked like one of those plays... It was a combination of getting pushed from Matt Graham, no more than usual, but Schnapp was a bit off balance. He was surrounded by a pair of prowlers. Probably not overly ma malicious from Matt Graham, but Schnapp disliked that one a bit more than usual. Corey Simons disliked it a bit more than usual as well. He got his goal mask knocked off during the fray. He'll take a few moments to get set up again. Good work by the PV line. Big chance for Martin. Corey Simons was forced to make a pretty darn good save from about 20 feet out. Jacob Schnapp trying to go up over the glove. Schnapp now having a conversation with Von Clouston as they get ready to drop this puck. 7.32 to go. Modern Automotive second period as Federley clears this one around to the far side. Dalton J. Most recent goal scorer, a shorthanded tally, which has given the Prowlers a 2 1 lead. Rabenikov gets spun out in his own end. PV. Wanted to go to Jacob Schnapp. Contact with Cade Lambden as Schnapp throws this one back in. A little bit of stick work there against Brennan Young. 
As in behind the goal, Daniel Martin gets stepped into by Federley. Schnapp going against Cade Lambden. Puck up the wall. Held in nicely there by George Holt. Sent all the way back around, away from Martin. Schnapp after it. Doesn't have a lot left in the gas tank. Schnapp's been on for a while as this one cleared out again and collected by George Holt in Thunderbird Real Estate. Cross for Cody Oaks. Back to the near side. George Holt, fresh from the bench, is Tommy Cardinal. Has some trouble with that pass. 6.41 to go, middle frame. Prowlers lead it 2-1 here. Cody Oaks back off the boards, one in Batita. Couldn't get it to him there, now it's Ford. Ford for Batita, down the right side. Thunderbirds trying to break this one in. Tommy Cardinal on the right wing hash mark. Throws it on goal, Ford on the rebound, a shot, he scores! Gus Ford does it again. Fourth goal in two games. Thunderbirds tie it at two. Sixth goal on the season for Gus Ford. Solid work by the Thunderbirds. Again, that line, Ford, Batina, and Tommy Cardinal. Excellent work getting into the zone and patience when they do. Thunderbirds had been a little over anxious getting into the zone early in the season. Finally, they break it in that 15, 20 foot area between the blue line and the top of the circles. Cardinal uses the time and space, finds a seam, gets it on goal, and Gus Ford buries one from on the doorstep. Dustin Henning throwing that one back into Clouston's corner. 6.08 to go as this one just staple gun to the boards. Isaiah Crawford in no rush to move that one. As we'll have a defensive zone faceoff coming up here for the Thunderbirds. They'll give the goal to Gus Ford unassisted. No matter, they'll take it no matter what. Yuri Peshtuka out of the near side corner. Chops this one off the glass. Henning and Warfield go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Dawson Baker now over the blue line. Knifed away from him. Picked up by Warfield out of the chaos. He's got Peshtuka up top. Across for Clouston. Fanned on that chance. Daniel Martin jousting in the corner now. Dawson Baker on his backhand. Waving at that one now, taken away by Quinton Roseboom. Roseboom over the line. Away now from Warfield, stepped into by Peshtuka. Clouston going after it with Isaiah Crawford in behind the goal now. 5.24 to go. Tie game thanks to Gus Ford. Back and forth we continue to go as two aside are stuck in behind the Thunderbirds goal. As Clouston taken down and gets more after as a long shot there sent wide. Clouston... Drawing the ire of yet another Prowler. This time it is Caleb Williams. Nick Williams come over. No relation between the two Williamses. But Williams wants Von Clouston. A lot of barking from Williams, not a lot of action. He did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zach Sargis a handful of times. Sargis not in the lineup tonight. 5-11 to go. Carolina back to the power play. Williams in the box. Caleb, that is. Thunderbirds to their sixth power play opportunity. 27 to 15, they outshoot the Prowlers. Gus Ford, out with Petita and Cardinal again. Those three, they're working for it right now. Cardinal has been given an assist on Gus Ford's most recent goal. As Ford's got the puck now, Pestuka center point reverses with Baker. Ford now sends it back over for Pestuka. Top of the left wing circles, lets that one go. Simons makes the save. Away from Cardinal, Varte Einen. Batita on it now with Ford. All three Thunderbirds back down below the goal line. Ford underneath Cardinal from the goal line. Once Batita in the slot, a stop there by Simons. Big chance from John Batita. Cardinal still with it now. In the left wing circle, Meanders gets it back for Baker. Prowlers try to intercept and go over breakaway back the other way. Chip right in front, a chance deflected by Batita sent wide. He got two chances there. Minute 18 to go on the penalty. Here comes Dalton Jay back shorthanded. Waiting for him was Baker. Thunderbirds, Batita intercepts. They've got numbers back the other way. Here comes Gus Ford again. Ford with Cardinal in front of shot. He scores! Tommy Cardinal does it again. 3-2 Thunderbirds on the power play.
Those two will be kept together for the foreseeable future. Tommy Cardinal and Gus Ford link up once again. So regardless of if the Talapov power play goal was correctly recorded, this one for sure. Power play goal from Tommy Cardinal with 4.16 to go in the middle frame and the Thunderbirds have their first lead of the hockey game. Viktor Grabenikov as we will have a stoppage here. Yep, was waiting for that. Media timeout, 4.07 to go. Carolina leads it as we go down the stretch here in the second period. 3-2 from Winston-Salem. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are again. back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking. Sure. It's I mean, the perfect do, beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay the 15, because these cans are limited edition. Five, sorry, Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish sure. on Trade Street. I thought this was the third one. But Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. With four instructors ready. Power play goal from Tommy Cardinal. Has the Thunderbirds a 3-2 lead. They outshoot the Port Huron Prowlers 31-15 right now. We've talked about rivalries in the FPHL. Obviously, the Thunderbirds and River Dragons, one of the premier rivalries in the league, but... Don't sleep on Thunderbirds Prowlers. The heat getting turned up exponentially by the game. Alex Johnson ejected for a hit from behind on Vaughn Clouston. Jacob Schnapp getting tangled up in front. We go back and forth here. The animosity goes higher and higher. The score does as well, 3-2. Thunderbirds have their first lead of the game. Inside four to go in the second period. Grabenikov walks down from his point. Tries to send that one through the crease for David Nicoletti. He throws a big hit there against Roseboom. Lambden squeaking this one between the wickets of Ramil Talapov. Back in his own end, throws it up the wall. Nobody in a Thunderbird sweater is there. Roseboom forgot the puck as he wanted to send that one towards the goal. Back around it comes Grabenikov on the near side. Coming all the way over to hit him was Brennan Young, but Thompson's got the puck now through center. Had it for a second. Now the... Pass into the zone. David Nicoletti, a little over anxious getting into the zone. 3.23 to go in this second period. Schnapp's line comes on. He'll stick with Baker and Daniel Martin. As Garrett Rutledge has found his line combinations, it looks like, as Martin gets muscled off here. All three of these players were not in the lineup. Just 24 hours ago as Cody Oaks throws this one back in. Corey Simons back to play. Prowler's goaltender throws that one away from Daniel Martin. Off the wall, Caleb Williams. Throwing this one back on now, a chance. Through the slot, collected and moved out to the far side. Big hit by Cody Oaks. As now, looks as though the door has come unhinged. Cody Oaks throwing the body around a little too much. As he let that hit go on Austin Weber. Well, a quick reset here. Offensive zone draw coming up here for the Prowlers. Matt Graham stands on again. Federley back at the point. He's shown to be dangerous from there. One back and taken by Federley. Throwing this one. Cross corner away from Frazier. Matt Graham on it now. Thrown around, taken by Daniel Martin. Thunderbirds try to work this one back out to center, and they do. Federley, working it back now for Vartainen. Federley near side. Thrown back off, and it's deflected by Daniel Martin. The stretch pass would not go there. Dawson Baker faked like he was going to pick that puck up at the blue line. But the Prowlers pick it up now. Federley waiting patiently back in his own end. Graham swings. Federley steps out. Thunderbirds get a line change here. Petita's line on. Schnapp stays on. They'll come down in four check here. As Jacob Schnapp signals that he wants a line change of his own. Federley to the near side, away from Gus Ford. Taken now by Tommy Cardinal. Those two have assisted on each other's goals. The most recent two is here comes Ford again. A shot sent low and wide. 
Petita on the far side. Thrown back down low. Ford again out of the faceoff circle in front. Pastuka shot sent high and wide. That one almost caught Tommy Cardinal up high. Back through center. Tap back for Gus Ford. Now Pestuka again. Waving at it is Batita. Federally throwing this one back in and Paulin to gain control in behind for Carolina. Oh, be careful here. Paulin got his stick stuck in the boards as a puck then hit an official. Almost a dangerous play there as Gus Ford receives the outlet pass from Clouston. Cardinal picks it up now. Down the right side. Cardinal lets a high shot go there. We talked about Tommy Cardinal's release. Got a quick one, got a sneaky one. Lots of velocity on that one as it ends up up and out of play. Not sure if it hit a stick, if Simons made the save, but it does end up out of play. Tommy Cardinal letting things fly here as Warfield comes back on with Blake Peavy and Everett Thompson as well. Peavy, who's been letting the beard grow over the last little bit, has come out clean shaven here. Trying to change things up a little bit as this one thrown back into Carolina territory. Talipov coughs it up in the defensive zone. Gets lucky there that Soilis has some trouble with this one. Cade Lambden circles away from Peavy. Lambden up top in a one goal game. Long shot there sent high and wide over the crossbar of Chris Paulin's net. Final 60 seconds of this period as Grabenikov gets bagged in the corner. Now a wraparound chance in front for Henning. A big stop by Paulin. Hasn't been tested often here in this second period as that shot skitters through the goal mouth. Everett Thompson gets chopped out there by Brendan Young. Delayed penalty. Three on one for the Thunderbirds. Thompson can't get that puck to lay down for him. Now waiting patiently behind the goal. Oh, he gets decked there. Stavro Soilis comes after Everett Thompson. And now those two will come toe-to-toe -to -toe in the corner. It's Cade Lambden didn't like the reverse hit on Soilis. And Everett Thompson is feeding Cade Lambden uppercuts right now. Thompson got chopped by Brennan Young as he was coming back through center. Drew the penalty, and he stopped on a dime. Everett Thompson is a lot of human being. So Soilis comes back at full speed and runs into essentially a brick wall at a standstill. Cade Lambden doesn't like it, so he drops the gloves with Thompson and pays the price. So 39 seconds to go in this second period. Thompson has the Thunderbird faithful on their feet and feeling pretty good here in the late stages of the second period. As now we wait to see what will become of Soilis, of the delayed penalty to, I believe, Dustin Henning, to Everett Thompson. As this will certainly have lots of penalty implications. So we've got essentially three different acts to this most recent caper as Von Clausen has some words with Roseboom. We've got the initial slash, which was called the arm of the official was up. Then as the penalty was about to be called, Soilis came back over and ran into Everett Thompson on a bit of a reverse hit. I don't believe that should be a penalty, but we'll see. And then Cade Lambden comes after Everett Thompson. Those two get into a fight. Matt Graham and John Batita are having the conversations right now with the officials, Brian Scully and Andy Lindley, the referees tonight, Patrick Callahan and Chris Kwong are the linesmen right now. Scully and Lindley handling most of the banter right now. Again, 39 seconds left in this period. A pair of prowlers are headed back over to the box. Looks like it was Brennan Young will be called for this slashing penalty. So if that's the only penalty on the board, that will give Carolina its seventh power play of the night. Typically in these sort of instances, Everett Thompson does find himself uh, with a little bit more than the usual fighting major. Might not be the case tonight. As we look like we're ready to go, at five on four, nothing up on the board yet. As now Devin Warfield comes over to serve Everett Thompson's fighting major. So we'll go at five on five here. They'll rule that the penalty was waved off there. I believe with Thompson's antics, or Thompson's fight. Final 30 seconds to go. We're gonna go at five on five here. We'll get the penalty sorted out at some point during the intermission when we get a chance to. This one back out at center. Collected here by Matt Graham. 
Graham away from Jacob Schnapp. Near side, George Holt. Schnapp shuts down Graham and Holt backhands this one through for Cardinal. And a delayed penalty. Cardinal got the hand up on Frazier. Cardinal looked to be battling for some position there and Frazier snaps the head back. 10.7 to go, second period. And now we will have a power play, but it goes for Port Huron. Just their second power play of the night. Thunderbirds doing a good job of staying out of the box to this point. So one last chance here. 10 seconds exactly in this middle frame. Puck is dropped in the Thunderbirds end. Yuri Pashtuka just looks to kill the final few seconds. Three seconds to go. This one squirts back out in front. One last chance. A big shot there. Stopped by Paulin. What a chance for Dalton, Jay, and company as that one thrown on goal afterwards. Chris Paulin didn't like that one. Larry Vartainen really stepping into that one. 31-15 the shots right now. The Thunderbirds head into our Pine Tree Tavern second intermission with a 3-2 lead over the Port Huron Prowlers right now. We're going to take a break, try to get some of the penalties sorted out for you. And when we come back, we will break down quite the eventful second period here from Winston-Salem when we return on the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference, family owned since 1933.
We welcome you back inside the fairgrounds annex here as, well, for the second time tonight, objects rain down on the ice. This time, Chuck a puck going on behind us here up in the uh, up in the broadcast booth. But it was an eventful second period, to say the least. Uh, we're still getting uh, the latest word on those penalties for you, so we won't even venture into those for right now. We should have them uh, on the other side of this segment. But right now, we'll stick with what we know, and that is the score. 3-2 Thunderbirds through the first tw uh, 40 minutes of this hockey game. Federley opened the scoring again on that four on four. After the major penalty, Alex Johnson ejected from the game for his hit on Von Clauston. Looked to be a great chance for the Thunderbirds. Ramil Talipov takes the tripping call, levels things up at four on four. Federley lets a seeing eye shot go from the point, and that seemed to take the wins of the wins out of the sails of the Thunderbirds, but not to be. Just moments later, Talipov out of the box. After some chaos in front, he bangs home his first in a Carolina uniform, second point uh, in as many games for Ramil Talipov, and sends the teddy bears cascading down onto the playing surface here in Winston-Salem. But that would not last very long, that jovial feeling. 2-1 would be the score. Dalton J back the other way on a shorthanded goal immediately after that faceoff. Again, the Thunderbirds were on the power play there. Five on four with about 25 seconds left on that major penalty uh, to Alex Johnson. And a solid feed uh, up through the middle to Dalton Jay, and he really turns the Jets on. One of the faster players out there, kind of the complete package. A big body, brilliant shot, lots of speed there, and he was able to really wind one up down the left wing and snap things up and over the glove of Chris Paulin. That would make it 2-1, to one, but that would not be for very long. Gus Ford with his fourth goal in two games after a chance in front. He would put home the rebound uh, on an assist by Tommy Cardinal. Cardinal getting back on the board again. Those two really come together uh, with, again, a, a revolving cast of characters. John Batita for the most part in this game. Batita, Ford, and Cardinal has been one of the go-to lines uh, for Garrett Rutledge in this game. That would tie things up at two, and then the go-ahead goal later on. Two minutes later, it would be Tommy Cardinal on the power play. That one for sure made it a 3-2 hockey game. Cardinal skating a lot lighter these days after getting the monkey off his back with a goal and two assists last night. He's got a goal and an assist tonight. And he's helped the Thunderbirds to a 3-2 lead right now. Let's take a quick break, and when we come back, we've got some penalties for you here from Winston-Salem on the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices, big selection, and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Family owned and operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of meat from our on-site butcher, enjoy a glass bottle of soda like the old days, and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kernersville.
Back inside the Fairgrounds Annex, 3-2 Carolina leads Port Huron through 40 minutes of play as we roll on here with the Pine Tree Tavern second intermission report. Thunderbirds continue to resurface the ice here and while that's going on behind us, we do finally have all the penalties for you and they're really not as confusing as we made them out to be. I thought there was going to be uh, a little bit more to it than that. Uh, Cade Lambden, two for slashing and five for fighting. Everett Thompson, two for slashing, five for fighting. Cut and dry, that's it. We skated at five on five after that. Really nothing more to it than that. But of course, uh, at the 1950 mark, Tommy Cardinal picked up uh, an unrelated high sticking penalty, which was interesting because it, it looked as though it was the free hand of Cardinal that came up and hit, uh, I believe it was Dustin Henning. Uh, but regardless, the Thunderbirds will find themselves with a minute 50 seconds of penalty killing time on the other side of this break. But uh, to break down and recap that last little uh, kerfluffle there at the end of things. Uh, Everett Thompson carrying the puck back through center ice and it was apparently uh, Cade Lambden chopping down on Thompson's stick. You saw the arm of the official go up. That penalty was ready and willing to be called. Thompson carries the puck into the offensive zone down the right side. Doesn't get a clean shot on goal. Uh, and then coming full speed after Thompson as he had come to a complete stop behind the goal line was Stavros Soilis and he ran into Everett Thompson like a brick wall. Uh, Soilis Kind of paid the price for that one. No penalty there for that hit. That was kind of the uh, the stipulation where we weren't sure if Thompson would be penalized for that because the result was quite catastrophic. Then after that, it would be Lambden and Everett Thompson shedding the gloves and going toe to toe there. Uh, those two again getting the uh, the fighting majors, and that would be it for those two for the period. They'll be back uh, at about the well. Uh, four and a half minute mark into this third period uh, as we get closer and closer to, the, to that. And again, as we said, Tommy Cardinal, two for slashing. Uh, the Thunderbirds will be shorthanded to start off the third period. Another break, and when we come back, we'll uh, tell you what to look out for, some of our predictions and thoughts heading into this third period on the Pine Tree Tavern second intermission report. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Yeah, let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the pro shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18 hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. A lot has changed since 1933, but one thing that hasn't is Modern Automotive's commitment to you. North Carolina car buyers have trusted Modern for 85 years for affordable prices. 
big selection and an everlasting commitment to local schools, youth programs, and charitable organizations. It has been our pleasure to earn your business and help make a difference in our community. Experience the modern difference. Family owned since 1933. Welcome back inside the broadcast booth here at the Fairgrounds Annex for the final time in the Pine Tree Tavern second intermission report. Carolina leading Port Huron by a score of 3-2, to 31 to 15 the shot total right now. Carolina outshot the visitors 21 to 7 in that middle frame and all of these goals, all five of them uh, scored in the second period. We were scoreless after 20, uh, but some of the players to look out for and the line combinations to pay attention to. That top line of Cardinal Batita and Gus Ford doesn't look like it's coming apart anytime soon. A pair of points each for Gus Ford and Tommy Cardinal. John Batita's had chances left and right. He seems to be on the precipice of hitting pay dirt here as we get ready to start the third period. And Jacob Schnapp out there with Daniel Martin and Dawson Baker. Those three have really shown some, uh, some chemistry. And Jacob Schnapp, the hard-nosed player that the Thunderbirds uh, have been waiting for. Uh, again, they, you have some of them, but you always want more. Uh, Jacob Schnapp, not afraid to go to the dirty areas, throw his body around. He's not a small player, not a timid player by any stretch of the imagination and seems to complement Baker and Martin well in their playing styles. Expect those two sets of three players uh, to be together here for this third period, especially keep an eye on that top line with Ford, Batita, and uh, and Tommy Cardinal. Uh, one last break here, and on the other side of it, period number three, Thunderbirds looking to defend this one goal lead. It's 3-2 from Winston-Salem. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic, the Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That was a bomb. Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups, youth groups, business outings, and more. Come together to see your Thunderbirds. Call 336-748-3949 today. One goal currently separates the Carolina Thunderbirds and the Port Huron Prowlers. 20 minutes separate us from the end of regulation. It is the third period here, brought to you by Newco Motors from the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Some carryover penalties. Tommy Cardinal in for slashing as the Prowlers have a couple of players in the box. Young and Lambden in right now, serving some extra minors. Tommy Cardinal gives Devin Warfield a little bit of a wave as he strides back over. A minute 50 seconds of power play time for the Prowlers here in this third period. Their second opportunity of the night. Thunderbirds will have to dig deep here in the early stretches of the period. Chris Paulin has stood tall, especially in that first period. He guided the Thunderbirds through some troubled waters there. Made all 11 saves in the first. Only saw seven shots come his way in the second. Two of them got by him. Seeing eye shot from the point and an absolute ripper from Dalton Jay. Not a ton Paulin could do on that one. Petita Peavy 
Yuri Peshtuka and Von Clauston, the penalty killing four for the Thunderbirds. Graham out with Jay. Marte Einen, Federley, and looks like Caleb Williams on the left wing. The power play five for the Prowlers. Down and underway in the third, Federley drifting patiently back in towards his goaltender. 20 seconds gone on the slashing penalty to Tommy Cardinal. As this one comes back in and Yuri Peshtuka gives that one the boot all the way down the ice. That'll take some more time off the clock. Third meeting of the season between these two teams. Thunderbirds lead the all-time series 19-7, 1-2. As Jay will have to touch up here before Matt Graham can come in on sides. Marte Einen now down the right side. One of the more lethal power play weapons is a backdoor feed in front. Dalton Jay a shot, he scores! Right in the slot, Dalton Jay, second, game of the, second goal of the night. It's a power play goal. And that ties us at three, didn't take long. Just 43 seconds into the frame. Jay's ninth goal of the season, second of the night. Gives Port Huron some more life here at the end. Still lots of hockey left to be played. As now we're all evened up at three. A great pass into the slot. Dalton J makes no mistake. Federley dropping things back now. Varte Einen redirected back in by Frazura. In on Chris Paulin as he makes the save and covers for a faceoff with 19.03 to go in this period. Corey Simons getting consecutive starts in tonight's game and last night's game as well. As uh, Greg Harney, who got the start on Thursday night, loaned to Vermilion County of the SPHL. Joe Noonan loaned to Peoria as well, so Prowlers had to sign Richard Shipman real quickly to a PTO. He's the backup goaltender tonight. Is this one thrown back in? Again, Alexander Crone, the emergency backup goaltender for Carolina tonight. Nick Modique is still out with a lower body injury. As Roseboom sees this one come all the way back down to Isaiah Crawford. Stepped into by Talipov, still battling for possession. Dawson Baker coming to the near side, boards to a side. They battle for it. For Jura, mines it out, walks into the slot. Soilis back up top, spends one all the way to the near side. Taken by Talipov, up for Baker. Misplayed it though, delayed off sides. The Thunderbirds have some time as Crawford has to go touch up and he'll go for a line change while he's at it. 18-12 to go in the third period. Tied up thanks to Dalton J. It is the lone shot in this third period as Viktor Grabenikov waiting patiently for John Batita now. Dishes near side to Talipov. Outlet pass taken by Tommy Cardinal. He has to fight for it a little bit. Drop back for Talipov. Sends this one back across for Grabenikov. Glove down on a delayed offside. Thunderbirds have a chance. Grabenikov lost it though. Feeling a little tense here in this third period. Thunderbirds missing that swagger they had in the second as Cardinal steps into a man through center. Marte Einen, as now Caleb Williams has it back down low. Stick work against Talipov. He escorts this one up the line. Here's a chance back the other way, three on one. Gus Ford, he's got Petita down the right side. Ford shoots one, he scores! Second of the game! This kid's on fire, 4-3 Thunderbirds. The Gus Ford Show rolls on. Fifth goal in the last two nights. That is Carolina's bread and butter right there. He freezes Simons, looks off the pass to John Batita, makes no mistake, sends that one back down low into the ankles of Simons, and Carolina's back in the driver's seat. Frazura working this one back out near side, Dalton Jay. Two on two they come. Jay a long shot, punched out by Paul, and where's the rebound? Down to one, need a glove it to the near side was Peshtuka. Taken by Batita. Ford again. Over the line, down the right side with Cardinal. Gus Ford threatening, throwing that one towards the net. He redirects off the shaft of a stick. And that near, si near side corner, Dalton Jay coughs it up to John Batita. Frazura now. Outlet pass to Dalton Jay. Away from Cody Oaks. 
Taken now by Von Clauston. Near side, Batita. Over the line, coming across the slot here. Batita works his way through. Jacob Schnapp has the puck a shot. Save it. Rebound in front. Batita's there. Schnapp on the rebound. Simon's made a couple of saves. Schnapp swiveling this one back down low. He wanted Cardinal nothing doing there. Stavros Soilis over the line. Stepped into emphatically by Cody Oaks. That'll draw a penalty. An interference call. As Stavros tried to lose the puck, a, a loose puck deke around Cody Oaks, and he gets the shove down. 16-24 to go in this third period. Third power play chance of the night for Port Huron. Cody Oaks in the box for interference. Yuri Peshtuka and Von Clauston credited with the assists on Gus Ford's second tally of the night. Another power play here for Port Huron. One for two on the night. Eight for the last 19 power play opportunities. All those coming against Carolina in the last three games. Dustin Henning now. Prowler's captain down the right side, runs into Yuri Peshtuka. Stavros Soilis from the goal line. Sending this one up top, Daniel Martin on it here. The Thunderbirds move this one back out shorthanded. Martin has his pocket picked as he allows his other penalty killing cohorts a line change. 30 seconds already gone on the Cody Oaks interference minor. As Brennan Young brings this one down the right side. Young behind the goal. Away from Talapov, stepped into by Cardinal. Up top, Federley, walking his way back in. Martian and one of the one-timer. Puck had to be collected on his backhand. Battle in front, Stavros in front. One-time shot there by Vartian, and there it is. He launched that puck into orbit. It hit the glass over in the far side corner. Federley wants Vartian, and looks him off. Here it comes, big stop by Paul, and the rebound swept aside. Klauston chips it out. Vartian and keeps it in. Following on was Talapov, and he gets it out to center. That's the way the uh, power play runs here for Port Huron. They pass it around, hope you forget about 85. And he unleashes a bomb, Paulin was ready for it. Cross ice feed, right around in front. Big stop by Paulin, swatted out of the air by Clauston. What a chance, Paulin's lost his mask. Brennan Young in front. One big stop from Paulin and Clauston. It was tough to see which way that puck was gonna fall. Clauston bats it out of midair. Save of the game there from Von Clausen if that puck was headed towards the back of the net. We'll take a brief media timeout here. 4-3, the Thunderbirds lead it from Winston-Salem. Maple Chase Golf and Country Club offers the best in recreational amenities in the triad. Come enjoy a meal at the Pine Brook Bar and Grill. Relax by our pool and cabana. Gear up at the Pro Shop and sharpen your skills on our 9,000 square foot putting green. And play around on our 18-hole Ellis Maples Design Championship Golf Course. Find out more at maplechasecc.com. Thirty-two seconds remain on the Cody Oaks minor for interference. That means Carolina shorthanded for another half minute and then some. Chris Pollan and Von Clauston teaming up for some fantastic defensive play. A big stop by the Thunderbird netminder. And Clauston coming up to take the heat out of a hot kitchen. As they'll have to dig in deep one more time here. Vartajainen on the ice right now. Two power play goals last night. The one-timer weapon as he's got the puck right now up top. Federley fakes the shot, wants to go back to Vartajainen. Instead, Dalton Jay near side, right in front. The deflection wouldn't go. Cade Landon was in front. As now it's collected by Batita, sent the length of the ice. Simons will have to stop it. 15 seconds on the Oaks Miner. He's up on his feet in the penalty box. Federley, motors on through. Vartajainen clears it all the way back around Grabenikov. Away from him, Dalton Jay from the goal line. All the Thunderbirds are collapsed down low right now. Up top, Federley, center point, far side. Near side now, Vartajainen, out of the box is Oaks. One time shot from the top point there. Save in front there by Paulin. It pinballed around a little bit. Federley fanned on the chance. And lucky for Chris Paulin, he lost it as it was coming towards him. It pinballs around and he makes the save. Thunderbirds kill it off. 14-18 to go here in regulation. 4-3, Carolina leads it.
The Dawson Baker line comes on now for Carolina. Matt Graham and company for Port Huron. George Holt into the skates of Daniel Martin. He'll let that one go for Baker. Three on two. Prowl is trying to sneak a line change. Baker walks in, lets that one go. It goes wide. Rebound in front. Daniel Martin trying to bounce it in off the back of the goaltender. That puck up in the air. No one knows where it is. Martin settles it down. Can't get a turnaround shot. 14 to go in the third. Baker out of the near corner. Finds Martin. Half wall. Sends it wide. Devin Warfield over to Chase. Instead, Dalton Jay just guides it back out to Cody Oaks. Plays that one off the glove of Roseboom. Now a chance. Dawson Baker down the right side. Let's it go. Save made by Simons. He made that safe standing up. Puck down in his feet. Unorthodox stop there from Simons. As this puck cleared down for an icing, 13-34 to go. Interesting safe selection there by Simons. You see goaltenders elect to stand up on shots from long range where they know that puck is coming up high. But that shot came from well, right between the hash marks. Dawson Baker, a great chance. Simon stayed up. Didn't go down in the butterfly and take away the five hole. If that puck goes a couple of inches to the right, Dawson Baker's got his first in a Thunderbird uniform. Face off to the glove side of Simons. Backhanded around now by Grabenikov. Takes an awkward bounce off a pane of glass. Frazura flips now to Jay. In for Lambden as this one thrown back in. They'll call that one an icing again. It was chipped in just shy of the red line. Thunderbirds get another chance here on the offensive. 13-22 to go in the third. Shots right now, 35-20 in favor of Carolina. 4-3 Port Huron in this frame though. Gus Ford's most recent goal has us at 4-3 and Dalton Jay has the puck trying to split the defense. Nothing doing there. He takes down Grabenikov as now Blake Peavy has it back the other way. Peavy with Schnapp, hounded is Peavy. He gets taken down, delayed penalty. Jacob Schnapp has it now, near side. Talapov, a one-time draw, goes far and wide. Paul into the bench, Clauston lets that one go. Extra attacker is on. Delayed penalty against Port Huron. Talapov, near side, works it across for Clauston. Frazura gives Talapov a bump. This one knocked down in the slot off of Lambden. Whistled down, 12.51 to go, the Thunderbirds. We'll go back to the power play. Opportunity number eight on the night for the Thunderbirds. Blake Peavy doing a great job lowering the shoulder, turning on the Jets to draw that penalty there. The Prowlers had no choice but to impede him, really. John Batita is on now to take this draw. Eighth power play chance for the Thunderbirds tonight. Prowlers move this one back out as they collect a shorthanded chance back out for Stavros Soilis. Pestuka comes around, try and take it away from him. Matt Graham directing traffic now shorthanded. This one pounded the length of the ice, a shorthanded chance almost there for Graham. To the near side, Pestuka takes Graham. And they come back the other way with some speed. Oh, big hit there, a hip check Federley. Opens up Dawson Baker, a clean hit, but he got some rotations on that one. Martin finds Ford. Two already. Let's it go. That one goes wide. Not by much. Could be a shorthanded chance back the other way. Stavros Soilis with Matt Graham. Against Pestuka. Meanders in. Gus Ford takes it away from Graham. Minute 11 to go on the power play now. Ford to the near side. Batita sends it across. Here's a chance. Pestuka shot. Turned out by Simons. Rebound back up top. Clauston holds the line. Minute to go on the power play. 11.48 in the third period. Gus Ford wants to throw that one in front. Waving at that one. Clauston can't hold the line. Comes all the way back down and the Prowlers get a much needed line change. Paulin finds Martin. Pulls up inside the line. Clauston from center. As an official takes a spill in behind the play. Make sure he's no worse for wear. 33 seconds to go on the penalty. Crisscrossing are the Thunderbirds through neutral ice. Here comes Clauston with Peavy headed towards the goal. Schnapp lets it go, turned out by Simons. Clauston on the rebound in the left wing corner. Finds Cardinal. Final 17 seconds. Clauston, the defenseman, is back down low. Trying to reverse now for Cardinal. Going toe to toe now with Henning. Dalton Jay collects and throws this one the length of the ice. No icing, and that'll take the final few seconds off the penalty to Cade Lambden. 
They've killed it off. And as far as the official score sheet is concerned, the Thunderbirds 0 for 9 now as a shot there up high. Shrugged off by Simons. Blake Peavy now. Long wrister goes wide, approaching the 10 minute mark here in the third. Thunderbirds still lead it 4-3 thanks to a pair of goals from Gus Ford. Prowlers waiting now behind the goal. Austin Federley as they control break out here. Federley throwing this one back up for Isaiah Crawford. It leaks past him. And it goes down for an icing. So again, the Thunderbirds not allowing Port Huron to get that puck in with any amount of control. They force him into an icing play. Clogging up the neutral zone, taking away the Port Huron options here. And so they get rewarded for it. Prowlers have to stay in. No line change for them. Martin off the draw. Can't hold it. Vartayin and flips it the length of the ice. Swatted all the way back in by Victor Grabenikov. Looked like a volleyball spike from the red line. Does its job, though, and throws it back in deep to Prowler territory. Inching his way down the left side. Vartayin and snaps one cross ice to the corner. Talapov gets a rough ride, moves it to Baker. Baker off the boards. No one in a red sweater around. Federley spiked out of the air by Martin. Let's it go and sends a backhander up the gut. Baker couldn't handle it. It's Federley instead. Taken now by Grabenikov. Carolina trying to work its way out of the defensive end. Devin Warfield moves this one up now for Grabenikov down the right side. Taken down by Frazura. Baker chops it that one and gets it now to Tommy Cardinal. Rabenikov looking for a stick lift there. Can't find one. Matt Graham with nine and a half to go. Sent back in by Cardinal. Thunderbirds short shifts now to the finish line. Not taking any chances as the Prowlers still have a good bit of time. Try and close that deficit. It's a one goal game. Shots 38-20. Carolina leads it. Roseboom flipping this one back in. Dalton Jay can't chip it in. Gus Ford going to collect this puck right now and can't move that one up for Batita. Would have been a two on O back the other way as Corey Simons flips this one around for Cardinal. Gus Ford whacks at that one. Can't settle it down. Dalton Jay fought off there by Clouston. Jay headed towards the goal. He gets taken down and still gets a pretty good shot off there. Great work by Dalton Jay to get through. Here comes Young now a chance from a sharp angle. Not on goal. He runs into George Holt. Separated from the puck. Gus Ford takes a whack. He's going back the other way. Two on one with Petita. Ford pulls up, lets it go. From the bench is Schnapp. Puck explodes off his stick. 8.25 to go. Caleb Williams from the red line. Gets a whack from Von Clouston. Still has the puck. Sends a backhander. Chopped down nicely by Clouston. Settled down by Williams. Thunderbirds can't handle it though. Landon from the top of the circles. Walks up high now. Hesitates. Dishes back. Vartan and a one-time shot. Pointed. That sting, Batita. He's got to get back to the bench here. Batita down on all fours. He's trying to be pushed back to the bench. Thunderbirds got to be careful. As this one punched out by... Chris Paul and a nice shot there by Soilis. Officials give Batita the benefit of the doubt. He was trying his hardest to get back to the bench. Great shot block from Batita, giving up the body up top. Here comes Federley, lets it go, and a shot block there by Jacob Schnapp, and he is hobbled. Gets right back up, though. That's the kind of play that endears you to your teammates. Shot blocks from Batita and Schnapp. George Holt with a shot block last night. John Batita had another one as well. Thunderbirds. Digging deep to protect the one goal lead. Seven and a half to go. Prowlers wind up to come back in. Thrown back in and icing is called. 7.22 to go. Time for a breather. Batita and Schnapp put some ice on their bruises on the Thunderbird bench. Carolina defending a 4-3 lead right now as we go down the stretch here from Winston-Salem. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of...
Welcome back to Winston-Salem, 4-3. Thunderbirds leading Port Huron right now. An offensive zone draw after some gutsy shot blocks here from the Thunderbirds. Offensive zone draw. To the right here of Simons. Prowlers have it. Stavros Soilis out to the far end, Federley. As they control this in behind the goal, 7-12 to go. Prowlers need one, they've got lots of time to do it. Thunderbirds have this one played back in. Chris Paulin out to play it. Flutters off his stick, gotta be careful here. They try to center it back out in front. Thunderbirds escape unscathed. Daniel Martin up away now, trying to play this one for Devin Warfield. Into the near side corner, Devin Warfield. This one played away from him. Now back out through center. Now for Matt Graham. Near side, Stavros Soilis down the right side. Inside seven to go, a centering pass. Marteinen couldn't catch up to it. Another centering pass. Paul has got to come out and he's got that puck in his glove. Long whistle there. Great play by Paul and he kind of pinned it up against the, uh, the shoulder and the head of Soilis and Ramil Talapov in front. Coming out like a soccer goalkeeper, looking like he was trying to punch that puck away as uh, they try to send a cross through the top of the box. And that is the last time you'll hear a soccer reference from me. 6.32 to go third period. 38-22 the Thunderbirds. Out shooting the Prowlers. Again, they protect the one goal lead. Gus Ford's line is on. John Batita right now still nursing that shot block, though it doesn't look any worse for wear. Batita from the near wing gives on for Gus Ford. Checks his shoulder, looks to see Batita with him. Knifed off his stick. Ford with two goals tonight, coming off a hat trick in tonight, uh, last night's performance. Puck settles. Oaks, point shot there, knocked down on its way. Batita goes after it. He's got it a chance in front. Wanted Cardinal. That pass doesn't connect. Gus Ford, outstanding Ford check there. Cardinal throws it through the goal mouth there. Wanted Batita. At the six minute mark, Henning lofts this one back through center. George Holt gloves it down. Thunderbirds in the middle of a line change. Holt had a pair of his own last night. He's got this puck right now. Just elects to go for the safe play and throw it back in behind the net. Back out off the boards. Things settling down for the moment. This one lofted in on goal as Jacob Schnapp gets tangled up behind the play with Isaiah Crawford. Simons hangs on to the puck as we've got nothing right now but a confused group of hockey players and officials. Didn't seem too egregious. Nobody on the port here on bench shouting right now. No one on the Thunderbirds bench shouting either, so Simons just holds on for the faceoff. Schnapp got tangled up in front with looked like Federley or Lambden. Right wing faceoff circle. Faceoff coming up, and they'll wave out Lambden. That'll bring in Dalton J. That one one back. One in Vartayan and David Nicoletti on now. He had some points of his own in the other contest. Nicoletti starting the season on defense but being moved up to wing and finding some uh, considerable success there. David Nicoletti, six foot three, one of the taller players out there. Still moves pretty well as this one flipped back in on an icing. 15-16. Left in the third period, Nicoletti. Member of the Battle Creek Rumblebees. Always feel obligated to make reference of that. Bit of a different situation he finds himself in now. And how long ago does that feel? A couple of seasons, as right now the game for the Delaware Thunder is to avoid that level as that one chopped away. Not for Jacob Schnapp at center. Lofted up into the air, Pestuka goes down to try and knock it free. Got to be careful not to take a tripping penalty there. He does not. And Dalton Jay on this one inside five minutes. Prowlers still chasing. A 4-3 mark. Gus Ford put us there just about two and a half into the frame. Federley throws this one back up for Lambden. Paulin back to stop it. Throws this one off the glass. Official had to duck out of the way of it. Lambden gets it back up top for Federley. Center point. Soilis. Back for Federley. Walks, lets it go. The puck broke on him, or the stick broke on him, rather. The puck sent back down to the goal. Good timing there for the Thunderbirds. A fortunate bounce. As back the other way comes Nicoletti. Roseboom, fresh from the bench. Nicoletti brings it on. Let's that one go. Punched out by Simons. A blocker save picked up in the corner by Nicoletti. 
Schnapp is there with him. As it comes up top for Talapov. Long wrister into the glove of Simons. No rebound. 4.09 to go. 4-3 the Thunderbirds still hanging on. They outshoot the Prowlers 39-23. We'll be going down the home stretch of the third when we return on the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. Family owned and operated since 1938, Mustin and Crutchfield Food Market in Kernersville is the place to find your favorite homemade foods. Sample the finest cuts of meat from our on-site butcher Enjoy a glass bottle of soda like the old days and go home with a tub of our famous homemade pimento cheese. Come see us at 245 North Main Street in downtown Kernersville. Conveniently located at the corner. Welcome back to Winston-Salem. 4-3, the Thunderbirds leading this one here. Corey Simons being put to the test right now as Carolina looking to extend that lead to two. Take a look at how we got here. The Prowlers, it was Federally kicking off the scoring with a four on four tally. Ramil Talapov would respond for Carolina. Officially in the books is a four on four, though that will be revisited. Dalton Jay comes back with a shorthanded goal to make it 2-1, then Gus Ford and Tommy Cardinal, an even strength and then power play goal. Gave Carolina the lead at the end of the second, three to two. Dalton Jay would come out in the third, score a power play goal, and Gus Ford, second of the night at even strength, has us at 4-3 right now. Daniel Martin inside four minutes. As Roseboom bringing this one down the left side. Thrown back in a bouncer behind Paulin's goal. Talapov around the far side, chipped back in. Talapov watched by Soilus. Drops for Grabenikov. Snapped a three-game scoring drought last night with an assist on Gus Ford's goal. Devin Warfield motoring back on through center. Down the left side, he's on with Baker and Daniel Martin. Warfield throws a hit there on Roseboom. Prowlers have it. Crawford spun out there, has to swing back in his own end. Out to the far end, Roseboom. Out off the boards, Thunderbirds in the middle of a line change. Icing waved off. Here comes Cody Oaks now. Has to spin away from Dalton Jay. Has pressure from Crawford on his back pocket. Thrown back up. Held in by Frazura. Take by Daniel Martin. And Henning. Throwing this one back around. Frazura for Dalton Jay. Finding Frazura again. Lowering the shoulder. He gets upended. Puck back the other way for Gus Ford. Under three to go. 4-3 lead thanks to Ford. He sidesteps a hit. Gus Ford headed towards the goal. Lowers the shoulder. Follow-up chance by Cardinal. Goes off the outside of the cage as Ford crashes into the goal. Heading on this one. Throws this one up for Dalton Jay. It skips over his stick. Thunderbirds hollering for an icing. They'll get it. 2.34 to go. As Gus Ford hunched over on this play. Went to the net with a full head of steam. And Tommy Cardinal by his side. Almost rewarded for it as he's got a little bit of a chat going on now with Dustin Henning. Those three will stay on. They've been inseparable tonight. Cardinal Ford and Batita. Pastuka and Clouston work the points right now. Batita's been bumped to the wing as Gus Ford goes down in the far side corner. Right outside the Thunderbirds dressing room. Up the wall. Goes off a skate. Fortunate bounce for the Thunderbirds. Here comes Ford. Let's it go. Shot. Save made rebound. Oh, Batita put it wide. Puck rolled up on him. Ford up top. Clouston. All the way back around. Dalton Jay is there first. It takes a hit from Cardinal. Matt Graham. That puck slowly rolling it. Pinballs around in the neutral zone. And John Batita finds Cardinal. Down the right side. Cardinal away from Federley. Frazura now turned it over. Gives Tommy Cardinal a chance to chop at it. Clouston, long shot there. Rainbows its way towards the net. Minute 48 to go. Third period, here comes Batita. Thunderbirds head for a line change. This line's been on for quite some time. Batita rims it back on now for Cardinal. Rather, Blake Peavy. Peavy on with Schnapp now. They'll try to work things back in deep. Batita still on this one. Leaks all the way back out. Rabenikov finds Peavy. Dishes back for Grabenikov, and they'll say... That puck was inadvertently brought back off sides. Thunderbirds were kind of backtracking their way regardless, but uh, inadvertent offsides. Minute 26 to go. 
third period. And the Thunderbirds are protecting a one goal lead. Looking it back in the win column at home. Thunderbirds 3-3-1, three, three and one, the overtime loss. Their most recent mark here. 3-3-0-1, three, three, oh I should say, an overtime loss. Not an overtime win as we've gotten a timeout here. Garrett Rutledge in his first season with the Thunderbirds. Drawing up the, t the key to success and player head coach Matt Graham on the bench right now. Drawing up his own patterns for the Prowlers. Gotta think it includes Larry Vartainen. And that one-time shot from the right wing circle. Vartainen and Jay certain to be out on this one. Had a couple of good looks tonight, but unable to put anything in the back of the net so far. Vartainen does have an assist. A pair of penalty minutes. Caleb Williams, a pair of assists for the Prowlers. Dalton Jay has two of three Port Huron goals. Austin Federley with the other. There is now the Thunderbirds for the second time in as many nights. Head back to defend the Alamo. A one goal lead with less than a minute and a half to go. And it is gut check time right now from Winston-Salem. The schnapp line comes out with Martin and Blake Peavy. Clauston and Pestuka, no surprise there. Peavy against Lambden, down in the neutral zone. Puck rolls back for Peshtuka. Out off the glass, a bouncer settled in the skates of Vartainen. Martin with it there. Prowlers can't work it back in, no lane. Vartainen switches sides of the ice for Federley. Finds Jay, two goals already. Let's that one go high. It goes off the glove of Paul and ends up in the glass. Vartainen, empty net down to our left. Six attackers on. Picked up now, Vartainen from the point. Winds and fires, stopped by Paul. The rebound sent high and wide there. Big chance for Graham. Inside the final minute of the third. Flipped all the way back out. Puck comes to rest. Drifting slowly, no icing. Varte Einen from behind the goal. Walks this one out. Net empty down to our left. Simons is on the bench. Paulin makes a save from long range. Cody Oaks on the rebound. Chops it off the glass, gloved down by Jacob Schnapp. Settled down by Daniel Martin. A vacant cage and a bullseye. Daniel Martin puts the teddy bears in the bag tonight. 5-3 Carolina with 20 seconds to go. First game back in the lineup for Daniel Martin. And his first goal in a couple of weeks. Empty net, goaltender in the way, doesn't matter. The Thunderbirds will take this one. They've got a two-goal cushion. Still 26 seconds, a bit of time for the Prowlers to do something. Would be tough to get two, though, the Thunderbirds. Again, we talked about it in the pregame, looking to play a complete 60 minutes. They're on the puck now, and the fans on their feet to celebrate. Inside 20 seconds, Simons drops it off for Roseboom. Final 10 seconds, the Prowlers bring this one back ahead. Brennan Young drops this one into the glass behind Paul and Oaks with it there, takes a big check. Puck flipped up and out of play. And we'll get a stoppage as Young, oh boy, he gets jumped by Grabenikov. Young goes after, he took Paul in down, skating through the goal crease and Grabenikov goes right after Brennan Young. As Chris Paulin looks down the ice now, as if to say, Corey Simons, do you want to go? The thumbs up or the thumbs down? Boy, this one looked to be all buttoned up as Brennan Young skates through the crease and takes out Chris Paulin's leg. Viktor Grabenikov does not often drop the gloves and he was all over Brennan Young. Boy, what a play there. Grabenikov's got to be careful skating past the port here on bench. As here we go, Tommy Cardinal wants to go with Roseboom. He's dropped the gloves. And for all that Roseboom, oh, he gets a glove up high. Roseboom didn't want to drop the gloves with Cardinal. Takes a swing at Tommy Cardinal with the gloves still on. Tries to sucker punch him as those two go down. As Matt Graham and Chris Paulin 
have each other tied up right now. Former teammates in Port Huron. As interesting decisions have been made all night long. Frazura trying to pull Roseboom off of Tommy Cardinal. And now, of course, Nick Williams has some words for the Thunderbirds bench. As Cardinal, they'll have to get him off the ice. Again, we try to be as impartial as possible. And now Nick Williams, he's come off the bench to fight Tommy Cardinal, and Cardinal goes down on top of him. Williams was not on the ice for this most recent exchange. It was a delayed hopping of the bench, but he came off the bench to fight Cardinal. That'll result in a suspension for sure. Matt Graham throws the puck down towards Paulin's goal. As this one has descended into madness, there is one second separating us from the end of this game. As Tommy Cardinal sends an elbow pad 70 feet into the air. Nick Williams is done and has more to say to the Thunderbird bench. He's trying to wave some more players on. As this makes Boxing Day quite a bit more interesting. We've got one second to get through. Such a small amount of time and it seems like such a large obstacle. Not even going to bother trying to sort out all the penalties right now. You'll read about it in the post-game recap and the FPHL's uh, website as well. As the yard sale is cleaned up, all kinds of gloves and sticks. It'll be a 5-3 final score, we know that much. The horn has sounded. Perhaps the officials have decided that a one second gray area is enough. And it's best for all parties involved that this one goes into the record books. A 5-3 win for the Thunderbirds right now. They're waving him off the ice. That'll do it. Yuri Pashtuka's got some more words for Federley. Although those are friendly words. Took a second. Batita and Henning come together. It looks as though this game might be done. An unorthodox ending. The Thunderbirds are on the ice to celebrate. Why not? We'll call it right there. 1959, 20 minutes, all the same. A 5-3 win for the Carolina Thunderbirds. You talk about playing a complete 60 minutes. Technically, they didn't do it. They played 19, or they played 59-59. But it doesn't matter. These guys played a complete 59-59 tonight. Gutsy win by the Thunderbirds. They hold off the Prowler attack. Chris Paulin came up big in the first period. The biggest reason that we entered the first intermission scoreless wears number 31 in red. As that'll just about do it here. We'll send you to a break, gather our thoughts, our pens, and our penalty sheets. And we will be back in a moment for the post-game show here from Winston-Salem. 5-3, the Thunderbirds victorious tonight. The Carolina Thunderbirds wanted to make it even easier to stay up to date on your favorite team. So, we brought the team right onto your home screen. Introducing the Carolina Thunderbirds app, presented by Campus Gas. It's the best way to see the latest content, rosters, and standings. Take a look at the team's schedule, and at the push of a button, buy your tickets. Head over to the App Store and download today. After the success of the Vanilla Coffee Porter, the Carolina Thunderbirds and Fiddlin' Fish Brewing Company are back with another instant classic. The Thunderbirds Blonde Ale. Smooth and easy drinking, it's the perfect beer for cheering on the birds. Don't delay, because these cans are limited edition. Get yours at the game, in the grocery store, or visit us at Fiddlin' Fish on Trade Street. Sometimes, we all need a bit of help. Come on. That's where North Carolina Golf Academy comes in. Let me give you a little tip. With four instructors ready to get your game to the next level, we're open to the public. Practice on our fully lit driving range and gear up at our pro shop. We're a proudly licensed Callaway dealer. Give us a call at 336-884-4653 and visit us in High Point. There you go. That's a bomb. 
Want to get in on the action? Bring your friends. With group packages of 12 seats or more, tickets start at just $12 a person. Group packages are perfect for church groups. Welcome back for the last time tonight inside the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. Final score here, 5-3. Carolina takes down the Port Huron Prowlers. They are victorious in back-to-back -back games. Thunderbirds back on the right side of the wind column. They walk out of here with three points. A couple of black and blues for sure. Lots of block shots and lots of fisticuffs right there at the end. Uh, a brief recap before we get into the three stars of the game. Um, and again, this will all certainly be looked at uh, with great amounts of scrutiny. It looked like uh, Brennan Young came through the goal crease, gave Chris Paul a little bit of a hook. He went flying, uh, lost his equipment. Viktor Grabenikov was all over Young right off the bat. Paulin came in, joined the fray. Tommy Cardinal would end up dropping the gloves with one of the Prowlers. Nick Williams would come over to uh, drop the gloves with Cardinal. He would come off the bench um, and join the play. He was not involved in that play. He was not one of the uh, 10 skaters on the ice leading up to that most recent altercation. Um, and out of all of that, with the one second remaining on the uh, regulation time tonight, that'll be just about enough. They'll let that final second roll off as that play uh, went up into the netting. And so... We'll have 60 minutes in the books here tonight. Carolina, a 5-3 win. Tonight's Barnola, three stars with a goal, an assist, and a whole lot of knuckles thrown. Tommy Cardinal, uh, second star. Ramil Talipov with his first goal in a Thunderbirds uniform. And your Barnola, first star of the night with a pair of goals and some assists to his credit as well. Gus Ford, five goals in his last two games. The Thunderbirds offensive catalyst all night long. Been really interesting to watch him play and see what he brings to the Thunderbirds lineup. A shifty and sticky player. That puck always seems to find him in the right spots, and he turns it into offense right away. That'll do it for the Thunderbirds 3-3 three three against the Port Huron Prowlers. They pick up two out of a possible three wins, six of a possible nine points against the Prowlers, making up valuable ground in the standings. And the Thunderbirds now turn their attention back to another rival in the Columbus River Dragons. They'll head down on December 17th to Biloxi, Mississippi to play the River Dragons in a neutral site game at the Mississippi Coast Coliseum. But uh, we'll get to that in a little bit of time. That just about wraps things, us, wraps things up for us here from Winston-Salem. Carolina 5, Port Huron 3 for all of us here at the Thunderbirds Hockey Network. My name is Dylan Clark. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. Good night, Carolina. We'll see you next time.